everyone how are you happy bunny day how is everyone is the order an emoto that's a good that's a good one kinos i like that gochuman wa emoto desu ka that's a good one i i love gochuman wa usagi desu ka i i'm a rabbit today i got the bunny ears how is everyone let's see skur says um hey may how, how are you doing how, what do you think about that fun fact i dropped on your Hiccuping axolotl short? I couldn't tell if you're joking or if you're for real. What? I, I didn't know if it was like a it was a fact or if you're trolling me. Cause you guys love to gaslight, so I couldn't tell. I'm sorry, I I <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore you. Welcome everyone. Hello. How everyone doing? Wait, are the emojis they're not popping up? What? I made it so the emotes would um would show up on the on the screen. But I guess I didn't. But how is everyone doing? Let's see. Mr. H says, what the hell is going on? Honestly, I don't know. We just... I, I woke up from a nap. I was like, oh, I have some time before stream. So let me let me take a quick nap. So I did. And then I woke up like 35 minutes before I was supposed to start. Ah. Good man. I, I'm, a, I'm a little behind on the Discord chat because of that. But hope everyone's doing well. Good to have you all here. Um... Good luck on your travels, LHP. Yeah, good luck on your travels, LHP. Hope you're doing well. Nice to have you drop by. And oh, okay, so it was a real fact. What? I didn't know that. I didn't actually know that. Because I'm so used to being gaslit that I thought you were gaslighting me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what? Is this for real? Because it sounds so silly. What was the fact? I missed it. Um, let me pull it up. Hold on. Um, it's on my YouTube short. I posted a video of May Hecupi. Let me pull it up. Uh, uh, where did it go? It's on my channel. Shorts. Um, Skr said... What did Skr comment? Where is the comment? Did you know that the reason t humans hiccup is because of an old biological trait we developed when we were still fish that was supposed to be the same function that let us breathe underwater and even though our bodies evolved to never use it our body still recognizes the muscular the muscle contortions of how to do it not the cause of hiccups and i was like i was like are you trolling me or is this for real like that was the comment if you want to see a video of may hiccuping then yeah check out my check out my channel kuro good to have you here thank you so much for congratulating me kuro i'm so glad you you followed me over to YouTube because I know you're on Twitch originally, but hope you're doing well, Kuro. How are you? Um, but yeah, uh, I was cleaning the axolotl tanks yesterday and it took me like several hours. However, um, now we have a new tank on the cam. So if you see this camera over here, um, now we have different axolotls today. You might not recognize them because they're new. Well, they're not new. But like it's usually the cameras on Popokyo and the others, but now it's on May, Tubbs, and Stubbs. Let's see. You don't gaslight. I'm the antithesis to your normal chat. Thank you. Thank you, someone who doesn't gaslight me. Oh my gosh. And I did have a good Easter. Thank you for saying that, Reptile. How are you? 
Did you have a good Easter, Reptile? Did everyone have a good Easter? What did you do? I had dinner with my family. That was about it. Um, that, that was about it. But it was nice. Also, Satya, welcome. Uh, leaving for the date night? Axolotl Eater, are you trolling us? Leaving for the date night? I'm just picking on you. Uh, I hope it goes well. Let, let us know how it goes. Yeah, I hope I hope your date goes well. Don't mention that you watch May because that might be a deal breaker. That might be a red flag. Don't don't tell them anything about me, and I'm sure it will go well. <laughs> when have we ever gaslit you? You're an honest chat. I mean, you Nepgear, you did that the other day. Hey, Walters. It's okay if you can't stay. That's okay. We're just chillaxing here. Oh, uh, no axolotls on the camera right now, but yeah, we got a new camera. Um, well, not a new camera, but, like, I moved their tanks around, so these are different axolotls. I- I'm not a fish, though. Wait, axolotls may be called- so axolotls are called Mexican walking fish, but they aren't really fish. They're salamanders. I'd hope you all would know that by now. Hope you all would know. But yeah, um, I'm glad you're doing well, Kuro. Hope everyone else is doing well. So what are the names of the axolotls in this tank, says Super Guy? Good question. Um, we've got the melanoid black one is Tubbs. Um, the pink leucistic one is May. Um, I named her after me because she's similar. And then the copper green one, the GFP, that one is Stubbs. Um, and they're all females. So before we had an incident where I put the males with the females and they laid eggs and that's where these hatchlings came from and I didn't realize that one was a female so that's why I moved the females to the bigger tank so now they're separated. Oh yeah I could take a picture of the tank. Yeah that's right that's a good one. That's a good idea. And thank you Darky. Welcome Darky. How are you? Honestly I kind of forgot it was Easter too because we don't really do much for that. My family doesn't. Um, let's see. Gurg, welcome! How are you, Gurg? Good to have you here. Welcome. Let's see. Oh, you're, you're going to sleep, Skur. You have a good night. Rest well. Sleep snug. Same with uh, Big C. That's okay. Um, I understand, you know, it's a Sunday. Not everyone can tune in, especially this late. I'm actually thinking for Sunday streams that I should start a bit earlier. Because I know everybody, you know, usually has work tomorrow on Monday. Unfortunately. So I totally understand. That's okay. Um, but thank you, Gurn. Hope you're doing well. Spend my Easter with family and just chilling now. Just remembered we still have to rename Stubbs. Yeah, because it's not a very nice name. So we need to rename him. But, uh, I don't know what's a good name. I was thinking that was cute. And then I realized maybe it's insulting. Um... I was just being silly and then it stuck. What's a good suggestion for her new name? Rin, welcome! I'm glad you're here. How are you? Oh, I haven't been on VR chat recently. Um, but yeah, you can add me. I haven't been on VR chat in a while, so I haven't seen any friend requests yet. Or if or added anybody really. You like the bunny ears? Thank you. I found them online. I mean I mean wait, I mean I I'm definitely a bunny. I'm the Easter Bunny. But I haven't hidden any eggs. And you don't have to tell me what happened, but you do have to eat all the eggs. Oh, it's already mo it's already Monday where you are. Oh, well, hey, Dustin. Hope you're doing well. What? Aw, Nepgear. Wait, wait. I think I have to text to speech off, so I will read it out loud. Remember, everyone? She just cleaned all of her axolotl tanks. Her sink is even more dirty now. Yeah, it is. It really is. Thank you, Nupgear, for the super chat. Very nice of you. Thank you. But, um, yeah. About the sink. Um, I did... I Since I cleaned the tanks, like, oh my gosh, you don't even want to know what my sink looks like now. And I was, like, so tempted to clean it. But I didn't just yet because I knew I had to do the... I knew I had to do the video. So, you guys should be like proud of me but also not because because <laughs> because it's so filthy oh my gosh but i'm waiting for the cosplay to arrive and then i can do the video um let's see thank you again nepgear um where's the eggs oh they're just in this basket here you have to eat all of them you don't see the easter egg basket 
I should have hidden some. I should have hid some eggs. And then they could go rotten while you didn't find them. Just like the pie I put in my closet! Oh my gosh. Good thing I don't hide Easter eggs, because I would forget about them for years and they would just go bad. Totally nothing sus. Where did the eggs come from? Well, you see, when there's two axolotls that really love each other, um, things happen. Yeah, that's where the eggs came from. Oh, but I think all the eggs, all the axolotl eggs, I think are done hatching now. If you would like to see a picture, um, you can find them on Twitter. Um, I post the little baby axolotls and they're growing fast. They're like about twice the size as they were when they first hatched. They're, they're like twice as big now, yeah. Um, we need an in real life cleaning stream? Don't worry, Darky, you guys will get that. Yeah, I'm gonna clean the sink. We need a sink update? Um, ooh, you don't want to know. You don't want to know about that. Also, hey, Mr. Chicken, good to have you here. Go call the Ghostbusters for that sink. Oh my gosh, like, there was some moss in my drain. Oh, I shouldn't tell that on public. My mom will be mad if I tell everyone online how filthy I am. But yeah, I was like, why is my sink not draining? And I pulled out some moss, like green moss, okay? And some black mold. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, it's horrible. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't say that on stream. Oh, what? What? what, what you got the things you guys make me say. Okay, anyway, why did I put pie in my closet? Because I was saving it for later and then I forgot about it for two years. Oh my gosh. We should rename him Colbrun Jor Jornel? What kind of name is that? I've never heard that name before. <laughs> Darky says, I think I'm going to vomit. I think it was from the axolotl tank, if that makes you feel any better. May, what's it smell like? Why do you want to know that? Why do you want to know what, what my sink smells like? Actually, it doesn't smell good. And I wasn't going to eat it. Why well, you have to tell me not to eat it? As if I was going to eat it? What? Oh my gosh. Big bra moment. And can you say that again into my chest, Mary? <laughs> Two years that pie has aged into a new existence. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mama May. If you're watching this stream, this is your daughter. She keeps telling me, like, what are people going to think if they come over and see your bathroom? And I'm like, what people? Like, what are you talking about? Who? Uh, that's what, and she's like, well, that's no excuse not to clean it. You have a, you have a sink phobia now? How do you even pronounce that? Shuika phobia is a fear of sinks. I'm developing one right now. I think we all are. I don't know why you guys want to see the video. We've got like, oh my gosh, it looks awful. Because it looks like 10 times worse than it did before. <laughs> oh, Bubbles! That's a cute name for Stubbs. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with Bubbles. What happened with the pie? Well, I was tempted to eat it, but I threw it out. <laughs> I left the pot for like three days. Couldn't stand the smell. I'm not sure how two years smell, but I probably don't want to know. I mean, it's just a pie. I mean, come on. It's not that bad. It was like a pumpkin pie. Come on, this is not that bad. I, w I probably should have eaten it. Don't waste, you know. You're not supposed to waste. It's its own SCP SCP entity, yeah. Oh, don't be sorry. I don't I don't want to get sick either. And you know, I actually wonder if that's why I keep getting sick is because of my like food disaster situation, like whatever you want to call that. If you like the mold, I think that's why I keep getting sick. I'll just be honest with you. Because I get sick like twice a month. Um, May's house is the house in Resident Evil 7. I don't even want to know. Oh yeah, I told my mom. I'm like, she's like, I hope nobody ever sees your sink. And I said, mom, are you joking? Hundreds of people online have already seen my sink. And she looked at me horrified. And she was like, May, are you serious? I'm disappointed. Why would you show them that? And I said, well, I mean, they wanted to see it. And she's like, why do you have um, that many subscribers if they know how filthy you are? Like, why would they, f why would they follow you? And she, it, like, it was like, it was like, man, kind of brutal, okay? Kind of brutal, but uh, yeah, but I mean, she's not wrong. Um, did I leave the moss in the sink? I did. I left it there for you guys so you could see it in the video because I know you're looking forward to it. 
horror themed May when? I should do a horror stream, yeah. Um, MA78, that's a good question, but not a good question for stream because I don't know anything about the person, so, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that, MA78. Hope you're doing well, though. Making sync tubers mainstream. Oh my gosh, that's a good pun. Hey, I'm gonna steal that. Sync to- I'm uh, making- For my sync stream, or sync video, I will say, Making sync tubers mainstream. That's a good one. That'll be the title. I'm gonna steal that, Nepgear. But yeah, the mold lives in my lungs now. It's probably- Probably not very good for me. And yeah, I just have my- Like, the only fresh food I have is, like, fast food McDonald's. Um, I don't eat mold anymore. I try not to. Sometimes I do. We all slip up sometimes. I will say it's like mostly in the past, but I mean, sometimes we slip up. You know, mistakes happen. Like I say, I don't make the same mistake twice. I make it five or six times, maybe even eight to 12, just to be sure that I did it right. It's every mom's personal hell. Yeah, it is, Nutsu. I feel bad for her. My my daughter made this famous for a reason I want to talk about. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Someone's going to confront her and be like, Hey, I know your daughter. Is that the sink tuber? Is that the- Is that your filthy sink I've seen online? Someday when I'm like super famous, they're going to ask that and be like, She's going to be horrified. Also, hey Grimu, welcome on in. You think so, Moonla Reptile? I don't know. My, my lungs- Let's see. Mold addiction is... I don't have mold addiction. Oh, fanfiction. May fanfiction? What would that even be about? Something about the axolotls, I guess? That's that's a good... That's a good idea. We need to... I used to have a blog that had all my lore on it. And I don't know what happened to my blog. It went down. I think I didn't maintain it, so the server went down. But we did used to have a blog with my lore. But... For my debut week, I'll go over some more, like, May lore. That doesn't have to do with mold. Like, I mean, like, actual lore. Mainstream, yeah, I like that. But, um... Yeah, I have I have some ideas for future streams, but sorry, today I was figuring we could just chill and just chat a bit. Because, um, I was so exhausted from cleaning all the axolotls. It takes, like, several hours. I was so exhausted, and so i just been doing that, and I played a bit of Dragon's Dogma. Does anyone here play Dragon's Dogma? I'm not talking about the second one that just came out. I'm playing the first one. Um, kind of reminds me of Nier. It's not dark. It's not, like, gloomy and depressing like Nier was. Uh, some of the side quests can be, but I've been playing Dragon's Dogma. Um, Dark Arisen, I think, is the name. Has, like, the DLC. Um, do you know which one I'm talking about? Have you guys played that? Yeah, it's fun. It's pretty fun. I like it. Grimu is bonk target practice. Also, hey, Nebula. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Good to have you here. May X mold. What? Why are you pairing us together like a couple? What tags? Slow burn. Enemies to friends to more? Oh my gosh. I would read that. I would read that. Let's see. I was gifted the first one. Very obscure game. Is it obscure? Is it really obscure? Because the second one that just came out is fairly popular, right? Has everyone just been playing the second one and not playing the first one? Where do the axolotls go when you need to clean the tank? I just get a bucket. I just put them in a bucket. Like from like a hardware store. They just- they just sentenced to bucket prison for a few hours. Dragon's Dogma is when Action Game Company makes an RPG. Honestly, I'm really liking it so far. It's really good. Uh, I just wish my characters weren't so ugly, but what can you do? Um, I don't think there's really a mod to change that. I think I- I don't know. I don't really like- I prefer, like, drawn anime girls, like, cutesy graphics. But I'm not gonna- Just because I like cute anime girls, I wouldn't let that stop me from playing a good game. I will play any game, no matter what it looks like, as long as it's fun. But I will say I miss my cute anime girls. I wish I could make my pawns a little bit cuter. Um, but I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to get the customization right in the character customization. That's all. Um, it's really fun though. And you can have like a party of four. And you can kind of tell them each like 
what to do, you can train them, you can yell at them. And when I realized that a pawn was basically a... Like, it's like a heaven-sent babysitter, I'm like, oh my god, I need one of these in real life! Where's my pawn in real life to boss around and take care of me? Like, I need one. Any volunteers? But let's see, um... Oh, the, the bunny ears remind me of RPGs? Um, I, I, it reminds me of the bunny ears in Zelda. Remember the ones that would make you run faster? When you put on the bunny ears in Zelda, you could run like twice as fast. Maybe even three times as fast. Also, hi, Hideki. Welcome. Hello. Oh, you're playing it right now? Urko, you're playing it right now? Are you playing the first or the second one? Wait, there was an MMO? What a shame we didn't get the MMO Dragon's Dogma in English. What the heck? I would have played the heck out of that if I knew that existed. What? What? It was just in Japanese or something? You think they're ugly on purpose? Maybe. Also, hey, Julian, don't be sorry. Good to have you here. I mean, we just started. We just started. Welcome. Um, let's see. You put them in a bucket like in Minecraft. Yes! Yeah, hey, that's a good point. Let's see, you've completed Dragon's Dogma. It's definitely flawed, but it's really enjoyable. Mystic Knight is fun as heck. So, the class I picked was Fighter. But, uh, what's the- Okay, so what's the- What's the class that has, like, the two-handed big weapons that Fighter turns into? Because that's what I want to be. Because that's, like, how I always play in every sort of game, like Dark Souls, everything. I ditch the shield. I go for a two-handed axe or a two-handed club. That's how- that's my style of fighting is just big, hard-hitting weapons, you know? That's my- that's my style. Um, Dustin, there may be a mod to unuglify the characters, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really want to install a mod because I don't- then you can't play online. Um, like it like flags your account like, okay, this is modded, you can't play online. Um, I didn't know that. Somebody told me that. So that's why I'm just playing vanilla. Let's see, I've been bouncing between replaying the bo Broken Sword games and playing Final Fantasy Rebirth or RuneScape. Oh, a lot of people play RuneScape that I know, but it just seems so time-consuming. That's why I never got into it. Um, what is th what is the Broken Sword? Broken Sword games? I can't say I've heard of those. Sorry, I was drinking some water. LA Teeter, um... Thank you for asking, but you're free to write whatever you feel like because I don't I don't really like limiting people, you know? Like it, it's it's you you're you're able to write whatever you want, you know? So feel free to do so. I would love to read a fan fiction of my adventure with your OC. I think that's really interesting. I would be flattered, so go for it, honestly. Oh, you're playing the first one. Oh, cool. Maybe what? That's so cool. How, how far are you? Is it your first playthrough or call? Or have you played it before? Yeah, I need some volunteer- I need some volunteer babysitters to come take care of me and make sure I don't eat mold. Yeah, what? You know, super guy, you're right. Why do we always talk about mold every single stream? Why does it always come up? Are you guys ever gonna let me live it down? Oh my gosh. May Styles Big Bonk. Yeah, I that really is cuz I cuz I don't react very fast, so I can't really go well with like big like sorry, I can't I don't really fight well with like say dual blades and monster hunter cuz it's very fast and I'm not very fast. I I'm very slow reaction. I just want to hit slowly and deliberately. You know, it, you kind of got to time your attacks right. But it's more satisfying when you hit hard rather than a bunch of smaller attacks, in my opinion, which I respect. Um, yes, why Hunter? I love that one. Great club. I used both of those. Um, that was like mainly, mainly what I used in Dark Souls. And I'm kind of surprised you say not what I expected. Um, what kind of weapon did you think I would use? Cause yeah, um, that's that's like my go-to for like every sort of game. <laughs> oh, you like daggers and short swords? Short, short blades. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, I don't, I have never seen Lord of the Rings snap gear, so I don't know who that is. Um, Gimli. I'll have to look them up. Wait, let me look them up. Gimli, Lord of the Rings. What? That's not me. Well, 
I like the weapons, though. Okay, maybe it is me. Maybe that is me, yeah. But yeah, those are those are exactly the weapons that I would use. Um, May, have I played... Have you played any FPS games? Um, no, but I've thought about it. Um, I've thought about it. I'm just... Since I can't hear in one ear, I... Um... I, um can't tell positional audio so say there's like an enemy sneaking up behind me i can't tell where the audio is coming from i don't hear that they're behind me it just is like mono basically so i'm very bad at fps games and that's my excuse um i'm sure it's also just that i suck at games but without the positional audio i think i'm at a big disadvantage um i could snap you with those gamer grippers that's like a horrible way of like describing hands why can't you just say hands why did you say gamer grippers what pass me the controller bro covered in cheeto dust okay and i did bring it up myself i did bring it up first hoodsie welcome hello fellow maskists welcome am i trying to compensate for my height yeah small small anime grill with with big club or big axe it just works um i don't know ma78 that's a good question what do you mean branch of whole alive called whole alive gamers if they're all gamers i guess maybe it's more about what they focus on i'm not sure um just a tip about the game uh oh don't sell the rusted weapon that you got from the first quest uh I'm gonna have to see if I did. I don't think I did, but I might have. And if I did, okay, I'm not too far in. If I did sell it, should I restart my game? Uh-oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know not to sell the rusted weapon. Oh no, I think I might have sold it. I'm gonna have to go back and check. Thank you for telling me though. I'm gonna have to go back and check. Ooh, I might not have. I think I just sold my like extra things I didn't think I'd need. Ooh, what did I do with it? I'm gonna have to check. Let's see, when I played competitive Pokemon, you'd- Oh, Glass Cannon. Dragon Teams. That's cool. I love dragon types. Alchemist by profession also may- I'm a smash. Like, yeah, like it would be like make more sense if I used items or like a staff or something. But I don't know. Maybe I should get rid of my Axolotl wand and turn it into an axe. Axolotl axe? Ax- Axolotl? Hey, it just makes sense. Hey, it works. Let's see, Pyromancer? I'll be honest, I played a lot of Dark Souls, but I never played as a mage. Um, was I missing out? Because I always played as like a warrior or whatever, fighter, I don't remember what they call it. Um, I never did any sort of magic in Dark Souls, and I feel like I missed out. Like, that was a big experience I should have done, you know? Let's see, wait, May, you can't hear out of one ear without being mean, can I ask why? I don't think that's mean at all. Um, you feel... Yeah, feel free to ask. Um, I was just born that way. Um, in my right ear, I can't hear. I'm completely deaf. It's called enlarged vestibular aqueduct syndrome. And it's like something to do with like your bone canal, I guess. Um, anyways, I was never able to hear. So I grew up used to it. It didn't bother me really because I do have to ask people to repeat things a lot. There's a lot of conversations I miss. Um, if I saw you in person, I would probably accidentally ignore you. Um, so it is frustrating, but I think since I grew up like that, I kind of learned to get used to it. But, um, I also have it in my other ear, so it is possible that I can go deaf in my left ear. But, um, so far so good, so I'm not too worried about it. But it is, like, something that can, like, activate. Um, my parents think it happened when I was, like, two years old, but I don't remember, so we don't know. Let's see. Oh, hey, Elasa. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Oh, you can buy the rusty rep weapons from a merchant, so you should be okay. Okay, okay. Thank God, because I really didn't want to start over. Because I'm pretty damn sure I sold that rusty sword. I didn't know. I didn't know to keep it. I just... I... I Usually in games, I'll sell, like, everything that I think I don't need. I'm not really a hoarder. In real life, I'm definitely a hoarder. But not in games so much because, you know, you have limited space and it gets overwhelming. Let's see, May has a... 
Barbarian soul may wants to whack things with big club. This is true. Yeah. Ooh, a lotl hammer. That would be a cool weapon too. Like a lotl shaped hammer. Ooh. I like that actually. Shape shifting axolotl staff. That's a good idea too. And I'm so sorry because I don't know why the emojis are not showing up on... What? I uploaded the emote wall and like I'm seeing that they're not showing up. So... I'll have to figure that out next time because I wanted the emojis to like float over my stream, you know? Let's see. Is the game fun? Honestly, I think it is, ne Nepgear. Um, I don't know if you would like it, but I feel like you might because we have like some similar tastes. Um, honestly, give it a go. Uh, I would, I would say try it if you, if you ever feel like, you know, you need another game to play. I don't know what games you're in the middle of right now. But I think it's really fun. Also, take care, Teeter. You have a good one. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, I can come back to hang out. No pressure. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your evening. And yeah, like I said, I will probably start streaming earlier on next Sundays because I know a lot of people do have to go in the evening because they have, like, work the next day. So probably I'll start a couple hours earlier. I would say you're only missing out on Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring. Magic is stupid strong in those games. 2 and 3 nerfed magic a bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, Dark Souls 1 is a good one. Um, I might... And I was gonna restart Elden Ring, actually, because I'm getting ready for the DLC. So I may, um, do that. I may, I may take your suggestion. Let's see, um... Sorry, I'm a little behind on chat, but I'll definitely- I'm gonna start Elden Ring again soon, because I want to get ready for the DLC. Steven, I have not seen that movie. I have not. What is it about? Let's see, it's not a deal breaker, it's just a good for crowd control. Well, I'll double check to see if I sold it or not. I'm not sure, but I will check out. And I'm sorry to hear that, Eduardo. Yeah, it's really not fun to make people, like, repeat all the time and miss out on conversations. It really sucks being partially deaf. Um, so I'm sorry to hear that you have to deal with that as well, because it's, it's difficult, you know? Also, hey, Minimi, welcome. My day is going great. How are you? My Easter is going just fine. Axolotl smash? Yeah, yeah. And I did add some more emotes, but we still have some extra blank slots um, for emojis, so I'm going to commission some more. Um, but that emote there, that's like an OG one from before I was a VTuber, so it's just based on me in real life, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good emote, I think. It's good in a bad way. Is May just a bunch of shape-shifting axolotls? You could be onto something, yes. I could be. We'll go over my lore soon. Wait, why did the alert not show up? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Afterbirth, for the gifted membership. Very nice of you. Thank you. How are you doing, Afterbirth? Very nice of you. Um, sorry, I'm a little behind on chat. Didn't mean to ignore anyone. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Um, like I said, I will work on new emotes. Gonna commission some to fill the rest of the slots that we have open. And honestly, it's thanks to all of you guys that we have so many emoji slots. So thank you again for supporting me like i didn't think we'd unlock so many emojis so quickly you know i think youtube actually hasn't even updated yet also hey lonely link welcome how are you kalora says i'm a lurk but i have to leave soon that's okay you take care have a good rest of your evening and you too vakama i know i'm a bit late i'm a bit late saying goodbye to you but take care vakama happy day to you too Jax. welcome how are you that's your favorite Discord emote? <laughs> I was trying to- So with that emote, I was trying to do like a poggers face. And then it was like, looks like she's like silently screaming like as if she's being tortured or something. And I'm like, okay, this is actually so funny. I kind of like it. It's kind of funny. Yeah, waiting for the DLC for Elden Ring. How long has it been? It's been a couple years, I think. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try Elden Ring Mage class. I'm gonna try it. Dre, welcome! Are you winning? I would hope so, but honestly, not really. Am I excited for Stellar Blade? Let me look it up! What is Stellar Blade? Let's look it up. Let's see, Stellar Blade. Ooh! Oh, it's a PS5! Oh, I don't have a PS5! Is it not gonna be on PC? It says, Stellar Blade is a thrilling slice of razor-sharp action, blisteringly fast combat as you slash a path through the remnants of Earth. 
It kind of looks like PSO. It's reminiscent of PSO2 to me. But probably very different combat. Um, but I would play it if I had a PS5. Maybe I'll get one someday. Oh, it's about a drummer that goes deaf? That is very sad. Yeah. Aw, that's awful. Also, I am sorry I'm a little bit behind in chat. Go men. Go men. Oh, you're taking- you're- you're taking the night off. Okay, good night, Big C. Have a good sleep. Take care. Sorry I'm a little behind on chat. Um, thanks again, Afterbirth, for the membership gift. And just realized it's Easter. Yeah, I didn't realize Easter was today either until, like, the day of. Yeah. Bloodborne's a whole different beast. Oh, I did play Bloodborne, but again, I didn't do any magic classes. Um, what did I play in Bloodborne? I don't remember what class I did or what my build was. Um, it was really fun, though. I need to go back to it. You just finished cooking. How about you? I just finished eating my mom's cooking, and then I took a nap. That was about it. I, I cleaned the axolotl tanks, so are you proud of me? Also, take care, Lonely Link. Bye-bye. Um, Grimu, I'm not sure what you're talking about. No, Grimu. Which dragon's dogma am I talking about? I'm talking about the very first one. What's it called? Dark Arisen? Uh, Dark Arisen is the DLC. Um, like it's included. So it's, yeah, it's just dragon's dogma, Dark Arisen. I did have some issues with my controller with it. Try, like trying to get the controller to work but i finally got it to work and i hope it stays that way i don't if you use an xbox 360 controller you shouldn't have any issues but i was trying to use a ps4 controller so yeah there was some there was some issues maze the axolot on the girl's head the girl's a brainwashed victim hey that's a good theory right there i'm, I'm not gonna say anything about that and just let you guys theory theorize it's like a panicked face Hey, that works. Also, guys, get along. MA7A, be nice to Grimu. <laughs> Let's not bonk anybody. Let's see. Um, May would be a very good melee fighter now that I think of it. Oh, I don't know about that. I can barely lift a gallon of milk. Let's see. As long as she survives the fight, she can just regenerate. I mean, that is true. Lo I regenerate. Lost bits disturbing but fun. You know, um, even an, an axolotl? can even regenerate parts of its brain. Like, say an axolotl has brain damage, can regenerate that. But then you look at me, and I'm here, I'm a, I'm a VTuber. You know, I've got brain damage, and it's clearly not regenerating, so I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. I don't know. You gotta live with what you're given, I guess. Um, You forgot your Bloodborne build... Bloodborne was really fun. I just went to, into it blind. Um, I think I did Dark Souls 1, and then I think I did Bloodborne right after, and then I think I did Dark Souls 3, and then I did Dark Souls 2, and then Elden Ring. So Bloodborne, I think, was like my second Soulsborne games. Steven, I saw you said something about the Hydras. I hope you can get rid of them. Uh, what? So, I, I have a question. What are Hydras exactly? What is a Hydra? Because I saw the picture and I wasn't really sure what you were talking about. Let's see. Um, oh, we got a lot of Bloodborne um, fans in chat. Yeah, it's a really good game. Let's see, I played Dragon Dogma, but after Platinum, I realized Dark Arisen Island was something new. Oh, you never played the DLC because you already burned out. Um, I mean, it sounds like, yeah, they added, they added a whole new island for the DLC. Hmm. I want to play Bloodborne so bad, but I only have PC. Bloodborne PC port when? That's a good question. We've been waiting for a long time. Also, hey, Goulash, welcome. How are you? Cheeseman, welcome. Good to have everyone here. Matthew, welcome. Um, no. Yeah, the dragon with three heads. No, I think they're talking about like in their like aquarium, like for real. Like, not- not a dragon. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a kind of animals that's similar to anemone? Yeah, I've never seen them before, so I'm like... Like, where did they come from? Like, did you buy a plant and the hydras were on there? 
I know that, Eduardo. Yeah, now I'm thinking of like Ragnarok. Now I'm thinking of Ragnarok Online, the Hydras in there, the three-headed dragon, yeah. Or the multi-headed snake, yeah. You cut off one head, two more grown instead. I don't think that's what he's talking about, but I don't know. It could be. May barbarian outfit when? What is a barbarian outfit exactly? I mean, I already, like, I dress like a barbarian all the time. Nah, not really. Actually, I'm into J fashion. I wear a lot of GIK. Or just like, um, if I'm lazy, I'll just wear like a shirt and shorts. But usually I wear like a dress or like some sort of blouse and skirt. I like to think I don't dress like a barbarian. Wait, the Hydras killed your baby shrimp? How can they do that? What? How did they? I didn't know they could cause damage. I'm so sorry to hear that. Man, I love shrimp. Man, that's not a good day. I'm so sorry to hear that. I wonder what you're supposed to do. Also, hey, Frog Finance, welcome on in. How are you? Fellow losers, that's mean. Hey. Bikini, sort of like a barbarian outfit. I mean, I guess, yeah, like in video games where they have like the women just wear like a bikini with a little bit of armor. I think that's funny. Yeah, Th that's what I would wear if I was in a video game. Nah, I like my capelet alchemist outfit. Let's see, and they do grow back if it gets ripped or cut both pieces. It can grow back? Well, what are you supposed to do to get rid of them then? Well, how, how are you supposed to get rid of them? May Doki when? That's a good question. Maybe at 3k we can do a May Doki Makara. Because I actually, actually found an artist I would really like to commission for it. Now, I will say it won't be lewd. No lewd. No. But um, I did found a... Uh, artist I would really like to commission for a Doki Makara. I'm like, you know, one side could be like pajamas and then the other side could be the regular outfit. Like, they have really good art. So I think maybe if I ever reach like 2 to 5k, sorry, like 2.5k or 3k, maybe we can make it a goal for then and I can make that happen. Yeah, we'll see. That's a good question. I picture you as being into Gothic Lolita fashion. Grimu, you're actually right. I have a closet full of Gothic Lolita fashion dresses. Um, I, I do wear that. I'm actually surprised that you're able to figure that out without me saying anything, but I guess that is kind of on brand for me. Um, yes, but I don't really wear them too often because I don't know, wh like, what's the occasion, you know? I, I don't really go out that often, so it's kind of a waste they're just sitting in my closet with the pies. Just, just gothic Lolita fashion in my closet with pies, yeah. Um... But I mostly, it's not really gothic, um, it's, I, I like like red dresses or blue dresses, like kind of more colorful stuff. Let's see. Professional weirdos, yeah, yeah. Uh, I never heard of that, Eduardo. Zena warrior princess? I'm not familiar. Daki Makura! Daki Makura, that's really good. Yeah, tastefully daring, yeah, yeah. Why not one side one big axolotl and the other normal may? Hey, Rin, that's a good that's a good proposal right there. One big axolotl? Oh, what would be cute? I have an idea. As if she was in pajamas hugging the big axolotl plushie. Ooh, that's a good one right there. I like that. Um, if May was in a video game, she'd be an Atelier character. Yes, I love the Atelier series. I'm a big fan. I've been playing them for a long time. Um, my favorite is Atelier Totori, and, um, my design as a VTuber was kind of, like, inspired by Atelier. Um, you could probably guess that it was inspired by Atelier designs, because I really like, I really love those game series, and, you know, I'm an alchemist, so it makes sense. So, I can army of maze as my sleep paralysis demon? That sounds horrifying! Why would you want that? Oh, a goth, uh, a goth loli model would be really cute. Goth Lolita? That'd be really cute. Like, the, the frilly, frilly lace and ribbons. That would be really beautiful, I think. The lewd side needs to be the axolotl. You're right, Raz. That would be a good idea. But I don't know. I still feel like some people wouldn't like that, you know? Axolotls are not for looting. Let's see. Also, off topic, but this is the first VTuber chat. Oh, really? I've been comfortable to chat in? Well, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm glad to have you as part of my community. 
I guess it's just May's mold magic getting to me. Also, hello, lurkers. Yeah, well, I'm so glad to have you, Moonlight Reptile. It's so good to have you as part of my community. So, I'm glad you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Zena. Is that not how I said it? How did I say it? Oh, did I say Zena? Oh, Zena. Okay, okay. I'm, lear I'm learning. I can slowly learn how to pronounce things. Ooh, May and an Axel little onesie. We've got too many good ideas here. Hey, that's really good, Steven. I actually really like that. Um, or like, what if you had like an axolotl sleep mask? You know, like the little like things go over your eyes so you can sleep better. That would be a cute one, an axolotl themed one of those. Let's see, hey Matthew, thank you, May. You came up in my recommended a while back, so I had to sub and show some support. Well, thank you. Let's see, you have an amazing community in your videos make me laugh even the cloud vr chat yeah that was really fun we need to do me more sorry can't speak we need to do more vr chat collab streams or even just vr chat in general um i have some of those planned for next week actually but i'm so glad to have you here matthew glad you stumbled upon my channel and that you feel welcome here um uh, make yourself at home oh rabi Rebi. kinos i've played that that's a good game rabi Rebi. it's like a metroidvania game right I think I played some of that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, Shiori! Shiori novella adjacent model when? I do like Shiori's design, but I don't know if it fits me. But I do like, like, goth Lolita, like, black frilly dresses with ribbons and lace. I think that'd be really cute. We could do something like that. Speediest Brad! Welcome on in! How are you? Good evening to you as well. May, you're missing it. Why not? The lewd said a giant axolotl in pajamas. Hey, we could do that. We've got a lot of good ideas here. Um, we could we could work with that, but I don't know. I still want to stay away from like NSFW things, yeah. Um Axolotl's not for looting! No, they're just for friends. Axolotls are so pure and gormless. Uh too bad they don't feel like being on the camera today though. I don't I don't know why they don't feel like being on the camera today. I maybe I should move the camera. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of does, Jaden. I think you're right, which I don't like that. I don't like that, really. Um, Shima, welcome. Good to have you here. Comfy stream, I hope so. I try to stay comfy. Let's see. I'm only wholesome. Yes, wholesome things. Like eating mold and unhinged takes. But mostly wholesome, yes. I mean... I guess I swear sometimes, but I do try to keep it pretty say-so. Like, I think- I think I can still be say-so and say bad words, right? I don't know, maybe not. Also, hey, Maho Aniki, hello, welcome, how are you? Oh, Binding of Isaac? Um, Super Guy, that's a good- that's a good suggestion. I don't own it, but everyone I've heard talk to me about it says that, um, I would like it. I really think I would like it. I gotta finish the games I'm playing right now, but I could pick it up. Wait, Rabi Rebi got a sequel? When was that, Rin? Wait, Rabi Rebi se sequel? Wait. When was that? Oh, what? On November 2023? I missed out. I didn't even realize that that, that, that it had a sequel. There's a sequel for Rabi Rebi? Wow, okay. Oh, Kurumi from Day A Live is so cute. I love her design. She has really cute dresses. I have a I have a tote bag with her on it. I have like a bag. Let's see. Um Gormless, yeah they are. The lewd side is an axolotl on its back and a bikini looking seductive with a plate of mold. Hey, you forgot to include the sink. You got to you got to include the sink. Balancing on the fine say-so tightrope? I don't know, like... I don't talk about, like, lewd or controversial things. And you would think I'm pretty wholesome. But then I would tell you about my sink or my mold-eating adventures. And you'd be like, wait. Something is not right here. Something is not like the others. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess it's a weird mix. Um, I, I don't know if it suits me or not. It's like a PG-13 say-so. You get to say one one bad word per stream okay i'm gonna save it hold on i'm not gonna say it just yet mold on the other side of the docky what a horrible idea but yet perfect people would love it yes 
Oh, oversized mage robe with a cute witch hat with a red ribbon? Ooh, I really like that idea, actually, because big witch hats... Okay, can we all agree that for girls, the bigger the witch hat is, the better? Like, big, oversized witch hats. So cute, right? I love that. I actually really love that idea. We're gonna make it happen someday. I can't guarantee you when, but we will make that happen someday. May say so as a fellow Nurgle cultist? What is that? What the hell is that, Kinos? Dumpster queen? I, I'm gonna rebrand as a raccoon VTuber. I'm basically a raccoon. Or just a giant rat. I am no longer an axolotl, you guys. I'm going to rebrand. I am a raccoon sink tuber with mold. <laughs> oh, the bleach Naruto rant? I mean, I don't really... I don't know, I'm just not into shonen anime, really. Um, like, no offense to anybody who likes Bleach or Naruto, but it's just not really my thing. Because I prefer, like, cute anime girls. Megumi cosplay? Who's Megumi? Do you mean Megumin from Konosuba? Who's Megumi? Uh, I could do Megumin from Konosuba, though. I really want to, actually. I really want to cosplay Megumin from Konosuba. And did you know that um, Season 3 is actually airing right now? Yeah. Um, or it's going to air soon. I haven't seen it yet. Sorry, I need to watch it. I love Konosuba. Megumin is best girl. Yeah, yeah. Elena! I love Elena, too! I forgot about her for a second. But she has white hair, so she is best girl. Oh, I could do, like, a Mona cosplay. I have a Mona cosplay. Yes! Mona... I can't say her last name, but Mona from Genshin. I have a cosplay of her, actually. But it's really hard. It's really hard to keep the hat on my head because it keeps falling off. Because it's so big. I have a Mona cosplay, but the hat... I can't keep it on my head. Yes, Ronnie. I did like Ronnie a lot. She's good. May is usually so say so. Then talks about how she wants to get choked by a hot girl. C catches you off guard, yeah? I mean... I'm just being real, okay? I'm just saying what everybody's thinking. Oh, Megumi from Jujutsu Kaisen? Let me look her up. Hold up. Me. Megumi. Jujutsu Kaisen. Wait, what? Wait, that's a guy. Where's the witch hat? There. Where's the cute dress? Nah. I think you meant Megumin. Oh, yeah, you did mean Megumin from Konosuba. That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. Um, yes, Megumin might be my next cosplay because I would really love to cosplay her, Megumin, um, because I'm excited for the new season of Konosuba. Don't look at May's Twitter replies? Oh, Kinos, why are you outing me like this? Why are you outing me like this, Kinos? What the heck? Why are you bullying me? Isn't Megumin the only one and party remotely close to Cosma's age? Honestly, Jaden, I have no idea. I don't even know what the age of everybody is. Well, I guess Aqua's like a goddess, so she's probably like a thousand years old. I don't know. Hundreds of years old. I'm not sure. Honesty is their best virtue. I just try to be open and real with you guys. I'm a little too transparent, though. I think I'm a little bit too honest. I think that's why people don't like me in real life, is because I can be kind of blunt. And honestly, I've tried to learn not to be because it's like... Okay, yes, it's good to be honest, but bluntness is just rude and that's going not going to make anybody listen to you. You know, if you, if you tell someone something bluntly and it's rude, even if you're right, they don't care, you know? So I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to work on that, but it's, it's, it's my number one fault, I think. Um, let's see. How old is Lala Tina? I have no idea who that even is. Lala Tina? Are they in Konosuba? Wait, Shrek is on Annie list? No, it's not. Shrek is not an anime. You're going to tell me next that, um, Cory in the House is an anime? Cory in the House? Uh, what? I don't remember Lola Tina. Let me look them up. Hold on. Oh, Darkness! I forgot her real name. I'm not a real fan. Oh, sorry. My bad. No, I'm not a real fan. Okay, yeah, she... She hid her real name, though, because she was shy. So I always forgot her real name because she didn't want me to remember it. Okay, let's see if I can do... Explosion! Okay, that's my best Megaman impression. Explosion! She does it like kind of like in a chuny way. Explosion! 
I can't do it. I can't voice act. Sorry, that was bad. But Megaman is best girl. We can all agree. Explosion. And I like how she can- she works so hard, but she can only do it like once. And then she's like tired for the rest of the day. That's like me. That's like me completing one task and then I'm tired for the rest of the day. That's literally me. Except it's usually something like putting away whatever was on the floor. Or like doing my laundry. That's like the equivalent of like, that's all I can do for a day. Shrek is not an anime! What are you talking about, Elijah? Oh yeah, I forgot about Wiz. Wiz was a really cool girl too. Wait, I'm gonna check this. Shrek? Annie list? Wait, what? It's actually on Annie list. What the heck? Why is it on there? Why is Shrek on Annie list? It's not an anime. Oh, Union! I do like Union a lot. Okay, I will be honest. Union is underrated. Like, why didn't she get more attention? She was such a good girl. She did her best. She just wanted to be friends with everybody. Why was she not more popular? Because she was such a good girl. Yeah, I don't really like Kazuma because he is a scumbag, but I do think he's funny. But like, I would never be friends with him, you know what I mean? Like, he, he is a scumbag for sure. Megaman, best girl, yeah. Cory in the house is not on Annie list. No, it isn't. I love Union. She's so good. But not as good as Megaman, but both are great. You prefer Union. That's interesting, Maho. Yeah. And you know what? I like Kazuma as a main character because he's more interesting that way. Because he's not just like some sort of self-insert, like, blank, boring person that you just project on. He actually has a personality, and that's what I like about Kazuma. Now, do I like his personality? No. Would I ever want to be friends with him in real life? Well, no. But he's interesting as a character. And I think that people don't realize... Like, with fictional things, people can't separate it from, okay, is this a well-written character, or are they a good person? So, like, for example, people hate Shinji from Evangelion because they're like, you know, he just whines and complains all the time. But honestly, I think Shinji was a well-written character. Would I want to hang out with him? Well, no. But he acts like a scared 14-year-old because he is one. Like, it's realistic. So people have to... People have to realize, like, a well-written character doesn't mean they're likable, but it means that they're realistic. You know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. I enjoy characters like that, even if I wouldn't want to hang out with them or be their friend. I think it's more interesting that way. Hey Jan, welcome on in! How are you doing? It's not April yet! It's not April just yet, but it will be tomorrow, and I will be streaming tomorrow. Let's see. <laughs> If, yeah, Eduardo, that's the only, that's the only acceptable reaction. Yeah. Maybe she has a curse. What? You talking about me? What would a May do if isekai to a dark fantasy world? Just curious. I mean, my life is already dark enough. It would just be adding fantasy elements to it. So I think that would actually be pretty cool. Um, yeah, if I could use magic, that would be awesome. I would be okay with it. Kazuma isn't the innocent, righteous one. He's realistic, like, instead of being disgusted about the succubus thing, he's like, where is it? Yeah, and I think that's what makes him well-written. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, I just want a character to be interesting. They don't even have to be relatable. They don't have to be likable. They just have to be interesting, and they have to be realistic, and I think that's what makes a good character. Yeah, um, some characters are made to be a douchebag. It's totally cool because that's how they're meant to be. That's the story they're in. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it's April for you already, Cheese. Oh, you're a few hours ahead of me then. It's 7 p.m. here. Um, do we have a schedule for next week? That is a damn good question. I'm going to post one tonight. So after stream, um, keep an eye out. I will post a schedule. I will be streaming tomorrow though at the same time. So definitely tune in on Monday tomorrow. I will definitely be streaming then, but I don't know about the rest of the week. I will have to post a schedule today, and I will put that on my website, as well as Twitter, as well as Discord, and YouTube community tabs. So, um, yes, just stay tuned. But thank you for the reminder. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. 
And yeah, Gulash, you make a good point there. Um, there's a lot of awesome villains who have great writing that we love to hate. Yeah, and I think it's okay to like those characters as characters, as long as you're not, like, trying to be evil like them. I think it's okay to like an evil character because they're well-written. Or because they're interesting, because it's fiction, you know? Oh, it's 8 p.m. where you are. Oh, you're an hour ahead of me. Wait, a lot of a lot of different time zones here. A lot of people from all over the world. Relatable villains or off the clock casual villains. Which one am I? I'm definitely in my villain arc, but I don't know which one I would be categorized as. I'm the unsuspecting villain. Purple, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Purple rectangle. I I like the I like the username. Wait, 3 a.m. where you are? Oh, wow. What? A lot of people from all over. Well, we'll figure something out. I do have something fun planned for tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, it's... And... Let's see. So, tomorrow's Monday. And then, uh... I'll figure stuff out for the rest of the week. But, um... Definitely, I will post my schedule tonight. So, you will know in advance. At least by 24... Actually, maybe not 24 hours in advance if I stream at the right... At the same time tomorrow. Sorry, go man. Let's see. Riev says, Realistic is weird because, example, if I made a story and made a character perfectly me, it would probably be in one part some of what I liked, but put into fiction. Oh, fun characters, it would be hated. Well, I mean, I mean, a lot of times people don't like realistic characters. That's true. A lot, like, a lot of times people like perfect waifus that are, like, just not realistic at all. Like, um, or, like, you know, the tropes or the archetypes, which I don't think are really very realistic. So I think it's okay to like things. I, I think it's okay to like all sorts of characters, but I just prefer them to be more realistically written personally. But yeah, um, it's okay to like... All sorts of characters, I think. Um, as long as they're interesting, that's all I care about. I didn't hear about that, Gurn. What? I didn't hear about that, Gurn. Um, I like ReZero, though. ReZero Season 3 is about to come out. I think it's coming out soon. It could already be airing, but don't quote me on that. But I was excited for ReZero Season 3, so that makes me a little sad if they made changes to it. Maybe... Feels like the kind of villain who wins by complete accident. That is 100% me. That is 100% me. And then I just play along with it like as if it was intentional, but it totally wasn't. What did I get for Easter? Um, nothing. I just had dinner with my family. Um, and I have all these eggs in this basket here for you, for you to eat. That's all I've got, and I've got the bunny ears. Let's see. Welcome, Score. Good to have you. How are you doing, Score? Happy Easter. May strikes me as a I can't help myself to face type of villain. What does that mean? Because, yeah, I literally can't help myself out of bed or to make myself eat. I'm helpless. Is that what you mean? What do you mean? May, are you say-so or yeah bye? I think I'm say-so. I think I'm say-so, but I have my yab moments. I definitely have my yeah bye moments. But I mostly say so, um, you know, I just say unhinged things about mold. But that's, I mean, I think that's okay. Everybody has their, their faults. Oh, they buffed Amelia? Yeah, I saw that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that because now I can't cosplay Amelia. It won't be accurate if I cosplay Amelia anymore. Because I have, I have a Amelia cosplay. And I cosplayed her before. I notice I cosplay a lot of white-haired elves. Um, Nahida from Genshin, Amelia from ReZero, and I was planning on Freerin. So anyways, now that they buffed her, it's not going to be an accurate cosplay, huh? Wait, what the heck? How did- Kinos, how did you guess my Myers-Briggs types? I'm INTJ, how did you know that? How did you know I'm INTJ? What? Hold on, I'm a little behind in chat though. Maze a cult leader, worshipper of Nurgle? What the heck is Nurgle? What is Nurgle? I don't know what that is. You guys are- You guys are losing me. Let's see. I never watched Berserk though, but how did you know I was INTJ? 
What what is all you guys' personality types as far as as far as Myers Briggs? I I am INTJ, but I don't think I'm a villain. Let's see. Can you steal me away by using carrots? No, I don't eat my vegetables. I'm a vegetarian who doesn't like vegetables, okay? No, carrots wouldn't work on me. Let's see, and... Yeah, Moonlight Reptile, I agree with you 100%. I agree with you, Reptile. I think I think that's true. Sorry, still a little bit behind in chat. Go, man. Um... The kind of villain that do stuff they do because they can't control their urge. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely me. That's me and my villain arc. I just can't help myself. I thought you meant like I'm helpless. And I'm like, that's accurate too. Oh, you're INTJ too, Goulash? That's really cool. Oh, had I mentioned it before? Oh, sorry, Kinos. I thought you guessed. But I guess, yeah, I guess I said I was INTJ before. INFP, um, INTP, INTP is, is, I, I was very close to getting INTP as a result, but, um, I got INTJ, I was closer to that, um, quite a little bit closer to that, yeah, um, what does INTJ mean? I forget what it stands for, but if you search the Myers-Briggs personality test, um, and it's not like a, like, BuzzFeed thing, it's, like, actually got, like, some research behind it, um, just search Myers-Briggs personality test, and it'll tell you what the letters stand for and what type you are. Oh, Nurgle's from Warhammer. Okay, sorry. I think someone said that before. Go, man. I forgore. I forgore. Cosplay is Rem from ReZero. I would love to. I, I like Rem. I want to cosplay her. Also, hey, Chips Coco. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. We're talking about... What are we talking about? I don't know what we're talking about, says Julian. Honestly, I don't either. We're talking about me as a villain, and we're talking about personality types. Oh, Steven, you're ENFJT? What does the dash T at the very end mean? Does that mean you're like halfway through both of those? Both of those, you kind of, you're like 50-50? Xion, why am I a bad bunny? What? Let's see, vegetarian that don't like vegetable, then what do you eat? Oh, um, I mean, I'm not really a vegetarian. I just say that as an excuse when I don't want to eat something. Okay, so actually I'm kind of a bad person because I'm not really a vegetarian. It's kind of an inside joke. And I, I thought you guys would pick up that I was joking and now I probably seem like I was lying. Um, no, I just, I don't like vegetables. And I used to be really picky about meats. So I would tell all my friends, yeah, I'm a vegetarian. Um, so, but yeah, but I don't eat vegetables because I was like the pickiest eater you would have ever met. So that just kind of became a joke. So they, like they keep making fun of me. I'm like, okay, I'm not really a vegetarian, you guys, but I just, I'm just very picky, okay? But you're right though. I should eat vegetables. Um, and I should have a very diet with lots of different stuff, but I really don't. I should, I should eat better. Let's see. Oh, it stands for introverted, intuitive, thinking, judging. Oh, okay, okay. Rizal Felix cosplay when? That'd be a good one. I, I could cosplay Felix. Satania from Gab Drop. I love Gab Drop, but actually my favorite was Gabrielle. Um, Gabu, she was my favorite. But I like Satania as well. Um, honestly, that was a really good anime, Nepgear. Um, I missed that anime. It was really good. I recently watched the OVAs. The OVAs were really sad. OVAs were really sad. You don't see me as a villain? Thank you, Julian. I hope not. Let's see. Um, May Diet is very interesting. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know what the T means, but I put a pic in Discord. Okay, Steven, I'll check it out. Hold on. Where did it go? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. You're ENFJ-T. Yeah, I don't know what the dash T at the very end means. What does that mean? I've never seen that. What does that mean? You think it would explain, but it doesn't look like it does. Oh, Rem is your favorite character? So I'll be honest, let me go on my little tirade. Um, I really like Rem. Rem was one of my favorite characters. Like, okay, to begin with, Rem was my favorite character. She's voiced by Inori Minase. I love her. She's a very good character. But in the end, I preferred Amelia. Not because Rem is bad, 
but I just really liked Amelia and her growth because at first she kind of started out unsure of herself and then she really grew as a character and wanted to be more confident and take take you know lead of her own life and that's why I like Amelia. Amelia is my favorite. Is Rem really good? Yes she is and I love her character, I love her design, I love her voice but personally I think Amelia is a little bit better because she had more growth in my opinion which I respect. Um, I will cosplay both of them though. I will cosplay both of them. Honestly, all the characters in that show are great. It's a really good show. Let's see. Um, the Say So Intelligence chart. Um, Gura is top left. Ina is the most centered. Ina is just so cute and pure. Ina is like so inoffensive, you know? Ina, Ina is like nobody could dislike her, you know? I want to hug Satania, but I'm scared she'll bite me. Yeah, she probably would. Let's see, what is the grossest thing I ate that had mold on it? Wait, what? How dare I, May? What did I say that was wrong? Eh? How dare I what? Exist? I, I do, though. What do you mean, how dare I? Um, what's the grossest thing I ate that had mold on it? Um, I had this cup with coffee in it. And, um, it had a straw which I didn't clean. It's like one of those plastic reusable straws, but you're supposed to clean it. Well, I didn't. So then I suck up through the straw to get this drink. And I don't know why. Why would I be drinking this when it's been sitting there for weeks, right? Like, why am I drinking this coffee anyway? It's clearly, it's got milk in it. It's no good. So I suck up through the straw and then this like big blob of mold is in my mouth. And I'm like, what? Why is this a solid? It should be a liquid. So I spit it out. And it's like this gross like green black mold blob and it had some white on it too. And I'm like, what? I just put that in my mouth? Well, I guess I spat it out. So that doesn't count because I didn't eat it because I spat it out. But it was pretty gross. I will tell you, it was pretty gross. Um, besides that, probably the rice that had mold on it, which I ate. Um, that was pretty bad too. Also, Pepeka, welcome. Not sure what you said. I missed your message, but I hope you're well. Welcome, how are you? I'm glad you guys like the ghost emoji I drew. I drew that. I drew the ghost emoji. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, I do need to check the expiration date, don't I, Gurn? Do you think I would learn by now, huh? You think I would have learned by now? Please don't put everything in your mouth. I'm like a child. I'm like a small child. I just put everything in my mouth. How do you get mold on rice? Um, because I left it in the rice cooker for three days. Because, like, um, you know, like, you have a, you use a rice cooker for your rice, right? Like, you don't just cook it in a pan. You use a rice cooker, and then when I'm done with it, I don't feel like putting it away, so I just left it there for three days. Maybe even longer. It could have been five days. Next thing I knew, it's like a warm and humid spot, so of course it has mold on it. And then I just decide to eat the rice for some reason, and yeah, I got sick. Let's see, horror games have a lot of goofy and cute fan art, and Ina has the fourth one. Hey, you're right! That's a- it kind of opposites attract there, yeah. Opposites do attract with streamers. Do I- oh yeah, I prefer Amelia over Ram. I'm so sorry, Maho Aniki. I don't blame you if you unsubscribe, because yes, I do prefer Amelia. I still love Ram. I still think Ram is a top tier character, but I do like Amelia a little bit more. I'm so sorry, but it's true. I just have to say it. I can't lie to myself anymore. Can't lie to myself. Okay. Oh, nice email. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Oh, what? I didn't see your other comment, Moonlight Reptile, but it's okay. You're all good. No worries. Is that going to hurt your stomach? Yeah, probably. <laughs> just admit you're a bit lazy, Made The truth sets you free and all that. I mean, I'll be honest, I think my mold eating was a mix of definitely, firstly, laziness, but also, like, when you're depressed and, like, you just don't have any energy and you have chronic illnesses, like, I shouldn't use those an ex as an excuse, but it was, like, it was all of the above, really. It was all of the above as the reasons as to why I ate mold. Did I know better? Well, absolutely, I knew better. Should I have done that? Well, no. But sometimes you just, like, don't care when you don't have any energy or motivation, you know? You need to eat something. It's food. Kind of. I guess it qualifies as food. You eat it anyway. 
Hmm. And you know what? Axolotls kind of do swallow everything. That's why axolotls you can't house with anything else except for axolotls of similar size. Because they will put everything in their mouth. Um, that's why you can't give them gravel because they will swallow the gravel. Let's see. I took the test, but I need to pay to see the results? You should check a different site, Jaden, because most of them don't charge. Um, Because I've seen sites where it will tell you for free. That's kind of odd that it makes you pay. You love Amelia too? Yeah. Let's see. Beatrice? Beatrice was good too. I really like Beatrice's design. She's got a very good design. You know, the blonde drill hair and the long pink dress. I think she's really cute. What's a fouet stick? Fouet stick? You made a small fouet stick? That had mold on it? Oh! Fouet is a salami-like sausage aged with mold. Oh, sorry, I didn't read the rest of your comment before I said that. Well, that's not good. Hope you're doing okay. May the last of a zombie outfit when? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not familiar with that. My axolotl ate my homework. That's a good That's a good excuse. I should have used that one in school. Um, Atlas, we're talking about the Myers-Briggs test. You know, like the Myers-Briggs personality, I'm INTJ, and there's like different personality types um, depending on how you answer the questions. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> yeah, paying for a personality test is definitely a scam. But yeah, axolotls, I've put shrimp in the axolotl tank. Um, you definitely don't want that. I've put, um, uh, I mean, I didn't put anything they would swallow, but I got these one plants that look like anemones. And they're fake. Like, they're not real, but they're just like plastic or something. My axolotls tried to eat them. So I had to take them out. Because axolotls try to eat everything. Axolotl, axolotl time already. You got ISTP-T? I've never seen that one. Is that rare? Reev, that one must be a rare type because I've never heard of anyone who had that type. One second, let me take a cough drop. Oh, has anyone tried... I went to a store and I saw these like raspberry spiced cokes. Has anyone tried those? Um, I, they're pretty good. I don't really drink soda anymore. I really don't drink soda, but these raspberry spiced cokes are pretty good. Anyone tried them? Let's see. They're fake. Like they're not real. Miri made 2024. I mean, I just had to clarify so you knew, okay? I had to clarify. Also, welcome back, Super Guy. Good to have you back. Whoever discovered blue cheese made a conscious decision to eat mold? The only difference between genius and insanity is the result. Wait, so which one am I? Am I insane or am I a genius? Oh, it's a zombie apocalypse type game? With a type of fungus? So, like, the fungus is what makes them zombies? I don't get it. Oh, started with a type of fungus. Oh, interesting. So it is. You know, I could see that happening. I never played Last of Us, though. I'm not good at horror games. I'm not good at zombie survival games. I don't really play much of those, personally. I'm not opposed to it, but I just don't really play much of those. Oh, the Wikipedia page has a good chart that helps you discern your letters. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Thank you for letting me know. Let's see. I sincerely hope you don't have mushrooms growing with that mold. May must be patient zero out here. No, I don't have any fungus. Okay, I don't have any like mushrooms growing in my room. No, no, I don't. I don't have that. My room is pretty clean. My room is clean, but it's cluttered. Does that make sense? Like there's stuff all around in my room, but there's not like mold or dirt. It's not like that. It's not like that. Your INTP dash T? I'm still trying to figure out what the dash T at the end means. I've never seen that. That must be something recent that they just added. Are you sure? Have you checked? I mean... 
Actually, no, that's a good question. That's a good question. I should check behind the axolotl tanks or something. For mold. Mold investigation. Steven, you might be the only extrovert in chat, because that's what the E stands for, is extroverted, right? Also, Jaden, I 100% agree with you. Ice magic is the coolest, because I like... I love ice magic. Like, if I had a choice in a game, I would always pick ice magic, because that's my favorite kind. Because you kind of also get water with that, and water is like a healing thing. Like, if you can have... If you can have ice and water... I think that's like the best combination because you got like healing water you can do like daggers with the ice you can do a lot of stuff with that they added a new personality in the new patch yeah they did do you like roguelike games um i played some i'm not like i i would say yes i say i really like them however i'm not like an expert like, what I played, I really enjoyed, and I would say it's like a top-tier game. However, have I played that many? I haven't played that many, no. Um, have you heard of Sorcery Saga Curse of the Great Curry God? It's a roguelike, um, DRPG, I believe. I think that counts as a roguelike, yeah, because when you die, you lose all your stuff. Um, I really liked that game. I played it on Vita. It's also on Steam on PC. Um... I really like Sorcery Saga. That's a good game. I like, um, I do like those kind of things. But if you have any suggestions for me, let me know and I'll check them out. Oh, last letter represents your mental state. I didn't ever hear that before. I've never... Turbulent and the A means assertive. I've never heard that before. Do you like to call my style of room controlled chaos? I think that's a really good I, I I think that's a good description. Yeah, I like that. I like that term. Scorpion from MK. What's MK? But fire magic is really cool too. I do like um fire magic. I mean all sorts of magic is cool. If you could just be a mage and use any type of element, that would be ideal. But if I had to pick just one, I would do, like, ice or water. Mortal Kombat. Oh, how did I not know that you were mentioning that? Sorry, my bad. Sorcerer Sog is a fun game. You've played that, Steven. Really? Interesting. Yeah, it is a really fun game. I'm actually surprised that you played it. My favorite RPG. Ooh, that's a good question. Can I list, like, top three? I'll list them in order. But I would say Nier is my first favorite one. Um, the original Nier, I played it on Xbox 360 forever ago, um, you know, with Papa Nier, that's my favorite, even though the gameplay did leave a little bit to be desired. I still really like Nier. Oh, wow, thank you so much, Dan Larson, how are you? Good to have you back. Thank you so much for gifting 10 memberships, wow, thank you so much. How are you doing, by the way? Good to have you back, and wow, what... No, uh, let's see if I can see your name right. Uh, Xan. Xan? Thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Thank you. I really appreciate everyone's support. That's so nice of you. Very generous of you both. Good to have you. Hope you're both doing well. Thank you. Wow, I don't know what to say. Everyone is so generous. Oh, I wonder if I should turn off the alert sound for a minute. Hold on. Well, no, it's fine. Um... But yes, let's see my top three. If I can only pick three top three RPGs, I would say Nier, the original one. Um, my second favorite RPG. Oh, can I pick a DRPG? Can I pick Dungeon Travelers 2? I'd say it's my second favorite. Ooh, but then my third. Can I say... What's my third? I mean, like, besides Dark Souls. We already said besides the Soulsborne series. Um, that's really hard to pick. Mm, I'm gonna turn off the desktop audio for one sec. Oh, wait, it is off. Wait, can you guys hear the audio? Wait, can you guys hear the alerts? Because I can hear the alerts. 
I thought I had it on, but uh, I just realized they're already off. Well, I'm so sorry I didn't have the alert sound playing. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Um, for my third favorite, I will pick Stella Glow. It was on the 3DS. Did anyone play Stella Glow? Um. Oh, wait, but I forgot about the Atelier series. Atelier series is really good. That's also one of my favorites. So I guess I picked top four. Um, but yeah, sorry. A little bit behind in chat. Again, thank you everyone for the memberships. Thank you. Thank you, Dan, and thank you, Xan. I hope I said your name right. Let's see, um, MOBA games? After birth, I'll be honest, I'm not really into MOBA games. I don't really play MOBA games. Um, I'm not opposed to it. It's just like, you kind of need a good group of friends for it, and I don't really have that. Um, I can see the appeal, but I just don't really play them. Let's see. Thank you again for the memberships, everyone. Poggers, yeah, Pog. Let's see, can we get a video of the Axolotls one day? Um, yes, we have a video of the axolotls on my channel. If you go to my YouTube shorts, you can see a video of the axolotls. Um, well, we have one of them hiccuping, and sometimes I post videos on Twitter as well. But yes, I will do more axolotl content. I'll do more axolotl videos, so keep an eye out for that. I have some ideas of things I'm gonna do. Let's see. Xion says, I hope you continue to remain like this, because most VTubers change when they get big. I mean, I think the only thing that would change is I couldn't read every comment, but I don't think my personality would change because, um, I'm just trying to be myself, you know? I'm just trying to be transparent and open and honest, and I'm not really putting on a character, I'm just being myself. And if that works out for me, then I don't know why I would change that, you know? Um, like I understand the worry, but I think the only thing that would change is I couldn't respond to, like, everybody, like, timely manner, you know? Let's see, you're always on the lookout for anime, fantasy, and food games. Um, I would definitely recommend with those three I listed. Um, Stella Glow was kind of a little hidden gem. I don't know anyone else who's played Stella Glow, but definitely look it up. It's really fun. It's really good. Um, it, I think it's made by the same people who did Luminous Arc. And I really enjoyed Luminous Arc. I enjoyed Luminous Arc 1 and 2. And I really enjoyed Stella Glow. So definitely check out all of those games. Yes, lightning magic was cool too. Let's see. Oh, Dan, I just saw your comment. Hello, I tried gifting those yesterday, but YouTube aired out after the payment. Well, Dan, I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope it didn't just take your payment and then just like error out. I'm really sorry if it did. I I hope you can get that sorted. But thank you again, Dan. It's so good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate your support. Let's see, you guys can't hear the audio. Okay, I will turn on the, I'll turn on the audio for future alerts. I just turned it on and I didn't realize cause I could hear it all along, but um, I didn't realize you guys couldn't hear it. So I'm really sorry about that. I forgot to turn on the alert sound. Yeah, I did, bunny for gore. Jan, you have Stella Glow? You should play it. It's really good. Definitely play it. Let's see, Rin says, would you mind sending me those? You mean like a list of my favorite games and DMs? Yeah, I can send that to you. Also, I don't like Minion Rush. I didn't even know there's a Minion video game, but I hate Minions. No, never. I hate Minions. Let's see, did it again and got the same thing, INTP-T. That's cool, INTP. I, that's a good personality. I think they get along with INTJs, I'm pretty sure. So we, we would get along. That means you're an axolotl in real life? Um, yes, and I will go on to more of that lore during my debut, but um, I could be an axolotl. I'm definitely an axolotl girl. Stella Glow was insane. Never met anyone else who played it. Adderall, yeah, I love the username. Adderall Refill Day, I love the username, but yes, I never knew anyone else who played it either. But it was by the same people who did um, Luminous Arc, am I wrong? Let me look it up. Because I remember it was like their last project before they like closed their studio. Yeah. Um, let me look it up. It's the same people. Yeah, it's the same people who did I Loved Luminous Arc, I Loved Luminous Arc 2, I Loved Stella Glow. It's all the same people who made it and Stella Glow was their last project. It was their last game before they closed down. And I've never met anyone else who played it besides you guys here in chat today. 
Like, never knew anyone else who played it. It was so good, though. Let's see. You prefer slightly older Western RPGs or JRPGs in the style of Western RPGs? Let's see. Kingsfield 4. Let me look that up. Kingsfield 4. I've never heard of that. Kingsfield 4. Hey, that looks cool. I can't say I've heard of it, but I will have to check it out. Thank you for your suggestion. Let's see. INTP are total chads. Completely non-biased opinion. Brought to you by the INTP gang. Yeah. But I think INTJ is best because I'm INTJ. Thoughts on bunny girls? I love bunny girls. Bunny girls are, are so good. Top tier. I love bunny girls. 1 million sub goal minion cosplay? Honestly, okay. If I did reach a million subs, okay, you have my word. If I reach a million subs, I will do a minion cosplay. But I would hope it never comes to that. I mean, I would appreciate everyone's support. I would be amazed. I would be absolutely, like, amazed. But, oh my gosh, not the minion cosplay. Not the minion cosplay. <laughs> I hate those things. Let's see, it got refunded, so it's all good. I'm just sad there were a couple people in the celebration stream that didn't get gifted. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. That's very generous. I'm glad it got sorted out in the end, but I, I'm sorry to hear that that happened. But thank you again for your support. Wait, I'll have to find- Okay, so if that's charging you for your results for the, pa the personality test, I'll have to find the site that I used and I'll link it to you because I found a free one. I found a free one. Let's see. You have to go now? That's okay, super guy. You take care. Have a good rest of your evening. Oh, you wrote a fanfic? Ooh, I I'm interested. I want to read it, Teeter. Just please send it to me. Let's see. Um. Why did you guys clip that? Yeah, why did you guys clip that? What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's going to be held against me someday. Let's see. Omega Strikers. Afterbirth. Can't say I've heard of that. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water. Um, you know, I'm not really big into, like, MOBA or air hockey games. But I'm open to trying anything if it's fun, you know? Like, just because it's not my usual type of thing doesn't mean I wouldn't like it. We're gonna remember that, May. Okay, hold me accountable. If someday I get a million subscribers, you can hold me accountable. I will wear a Minions cosplay, and I will post a photo online. In fact, I may even do a video. So, um, yeah, feel free to hold me accountable to that. But I just like to cosplay characters that I like, you know? I Why would I cosplay a Minion? Let's see. 3DS game called Pushmo. Let me look it up. Pushmo 3DS. Ooh, can't say I've heard of that. It's a puzzle game. That's why I haven't heard of it. I'm no good at puzzles. See, I can barely figure my own life out. How can I start to figure out a puzzle? Yeah, I can't, um... I can't do puzzle games. It takes me forever to figure them out. Let's see. Um, But I could check it out still. I'm just not very good at it. Um, my favorite monster girls? Um, I really- Does fox girls count as a monster girl? Because I love fox girls. I think fox girls are, like, number one best. Fox girls are really good. Dishonored? I never did play. Dishonored? Um, I don't know a lot of these games you guys are mentioning. Sorry, Omega Strikers. I'll have to check out. Um. Oh, fanfic stream. My bad. Okay. Sherbert, welcome on in. How are you? Happy Easter. Where are the bunny ears on the waddles? That's a good question. Whom God, I I should have gotten them one. What's what's an AI personal voice chat? What? What do you mean by that? Minion cosplay promise was pinned in Discord. Oh my gosh, Nutsu, you're like simultaneously a good friend, but also my worst enemy. Why are you doing this to me? Let's see. You'll link some in the Discord for later, but you'll really like at least one of them. Yeah, I'll definitely check them out. Thank you, Afterbirth. I like Idol Master too, but I just watched the anime. I didn't play the games. Um, Idol Master, 
So can you guess my favorite two Idolmaster characters? I actually cosplayed from Idolmaster before, can you guess what my cosplay was? Yeah, May May's face will be so pissed. Yeah, I will not be happy. I will not be smiling. Let's see. Demon fox girls are good. Ooh, moth girls. I like moth girls because moths are so cute. I love moths. They're so cute. Jaden, you're going to cosplay from Persona 5. That's a good game. Awesome. I would love to see your cosplay. You should share on the Discord. Dragon girls. Love them. Love dragon girls. Secretly get all of your family's accounts to sub to your channel. Why would you subject them to that? Oh, do you not love your family? Let's see. Cat girls are top tier, but I think fox girls are a little bit better. I do like cat girls, but fox girls are better. Let's see. Um. Oh, you're packing. Oh, for your Arizona trip, BR? Is that... Did I remember correctly you're packing for your Arizona trip? I hope it goes well. I hope you have fun. Um, thank you for stopping by to say hi. Hope you're doing well. Um, Honda, I did not cosplay her. No, she's not one of my favorites. Oh, let's see. There's four games. Okay, Julian, I'll check those out. Um, Jogasaki, I do like her. Um. Okay, I'll just tell you guys. So my favorite Idolmaster girl is Arisu Tachibana. Because she's just such a good girl. And she's just... She has the funniest expressions as well. Um, I, I really like Arisu Tachibana. But I also really like Anzu. Um, and the one I cosplayed was Anzu. Um, you know the song Onagai Cinderella? Um, and the costumes they wear for that song? I cosplay Anzu as that. You know... I should wear that cosplay again, because I haven't worn that cosplay in years. Um, yeah, I cosplayed Anzu. Um, why haven't I worn that recently? I, I got it, like, forever ago, and I wore it, like, only, like, two times. Anzu's really good, though. I like her. So is Arisu, yeah. Let's see, um... Have you heard of YouTuber... Oh, wait, George1987, he's a Gotcha Life YouTuber? No, I've never heard of him. I'll have to check him out. Gotcha Life? So does he play like Star Rail and stuff like that? You know, I was thinking of, st of streaming Star Rail or Genshin, but I don't know if people would like that, but I do like some Gotcha games. I got sucked in and I can't escape the Gotcha Hell. Also, hey, Pudding Cat, thank you for dropping by. That's okay if you can't stay, but thank you for wishing me Happy Easter. Axolotls are doing good. Um, can axolotls eat snacks? It really depends on the snack. They can have worms. They can have, like, pellets. Um, they can have shrimp. So what, is, what would they consider a snack? Probably a shrimp? Yeah, they can have those. They just can't have, like, human food. You can also give them fish. Um, but you don't want to give them live fish. The axolotls, you will want to give them, like, cut up, like, fish. Because, um, the live fish can hurt the gills by nibbling on them. So they can actually be bad for your axolotl. Blue Archive! I've been meaning to play Blue Archive because all the character designs are really good. I want to play Blue Archive, but, like, I don't want to get started into a new game already. Like, ooh, I already have too many games I'm playing. Gummy worms? No, no, not gummy worms. They have to have real worms. Oh, that's cool, Teeter. Let's see, how do I feel about the mecha genre? If you like it or want a good introduction, I recommend Armored Core 6. Oh, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, by FromSoft. Um, I used to play some mecha games. Now, that's another one kind of like the roguelike. I'm not an expert, I haven't played a lot of them, but I did really like what I did play. So yeah, I should check out Armored Core 6, didn't that come out somewhat recently? Is that the new one? Um, I do like mecha stuff, I'll definitely check that out, but like I said, I'm not like an expert or anything, so I couldn't tell you the first thing about it, but I think I would like it, yes, thank you. Um, uh, monster fighting games on the DS? Is that like Monster Hunter? I never heard of fossil fighters or or spectrobes. 
I like Monster Hunter a lot, though. I think I just popped my jaw. Did you hear that? I just popped my jaw. What the heck? Alright, well, let's see. Um, yeah, don't feed them like in Minecraft. I don't know what they eat in Minecraft, but they can only have stuff like worms or fish or shrimp. Or pellets. Um. Axolotls are so strange. They want to gobble up everything, but they're rather frail. Yeah, they have, like, no real defense mechanism. Like, they're, um... Very gormless and harmless and just little blobs. They're just little blobs. Oh, you post a pic of your cosplay in the Discord? Let's see. Scrolling down. Hey, that's cool. I That's a good cosplay picture. I Thank you for sharing. It's, it's so fun to see you guys' pictures and your cosplays. Thank you for sharing. That's cool. I want to cosplay from Persona, but I don't know who it would be. George, welcome! We were just talking about you, George. Welcome. Ellie Cheater told me all about you. Oh, now I feel kind of shy. I feel kind of shy, but welcome on in. How are you doing? Um, maybe I'll do a small introduction for people who are new here. I'm an axolotl alchemist. I cosplay and I also raise and breed axolotls. You can see them here on the side there um, on the camera. Um, I'm raising some hatchlings right now. We have 28 hatchlings. And I also like to play games like, you know, Soulsborne games, Monster Hunter, um, all sorts really. But I just aim for a chill vibe where everyone feels welcome. So yeah, make yourself at home. Good to have you here. Um, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's less than a year old? Yeah, that's what I thought because I remember when Armored Core 6 came out and I heard about it. Let's see. Yeah, my, my, my jaw went crunch. Just crunched. Let's see, Battletech on the Sega Genesis? Can't say I ever had one of those, but I could look into it. Battletech? Okay. Mome, did your jaw, did you eat your sibling too? Oh, are you talking about the axolotl fact I shared the other day? Yeah, I did not eat any axolotl siblings. I swear I didn't. Got an MP4 player, that's cool. I should do a Morgana cosplay? Wait, isn't that the little cat? Hold on. Hey, I'm not gonna cosplay Morgana. I want to cosplay a girl. Well, actually, I don't know. Is Morgana a girl? Well, I mean like a human girl. I wanna cosplay a human. How many times do the axolotls try to nibble my fingers off? Um, they'll swim up to the top of the water and they'll try and bite me. But usually not if they're well fed, like, um, I think it's more of a curiosity thing that they don't try to eat me, they're just like checking me out, you know? They're really cute. They're really cute, but they do sometimes nibble. 2B cosplay? I want to cosplay 2B because I love Nier Automata. I will definitely cosplay 2B someday, that's a good, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> in a wholesome way. Yes, in a wholesome way. That's what I mean. Yeah, I do love Nier though. Um, I have some cosplay plans. So I want to cosplay Mega Man from Konosuba. Um, yeah, Mega Man from Konosuba. I want to cosplay Ho Ho from Star Rail. I want to cosplay Free Ren from Sosa no Free Ren. Um, those are like my next three cosplay plans, but I will take suggestions as well. Axel will check you out with nibbles. Yeah, with with nibbles. Yeah, yeah. I need to get them on the camera. They're feeling shy today. Let's see if should we feed them a little bit to get them to go on camera. Here. Yeah. Be right back. Give me a minute. Let's feed the axolotls and see if they'll come over to the camera where I put the food. Okay. Give me a second. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back from feeding the axolotls. Can you see where I dropped the food on the camera? Let's see if they'll come over to the camera where I, where I put the food. I think I gave them a little bit too much, though. I think I gave them a little bit too much, but um, we'll see if they come over and eat it. Come to the camera. Let's see. Yeah, no self-destructed cosplay of 2B. Just one piece of a... Just one piece. Um, let's see. Um... Um... My next cosplay is from Korra. I never watched Korra. I didn't- I don't know Korra, Steven. Um... Let's see. Yeah, you guys see the food I put there? VTubing is hard because you need so much stuff. Yeah, it is kind of hard to get all set up, but once you set up, you're good. But it's like... Yeah, especially because I have another webcam for the Axolotl cam. Yeah, it's hard to get set up with VTubing. Should do a Klee from Genshin Impact cosplay? I really want to! Chips Coco, that's a good idea, because I love Klee. I love Klee. I should, um... I should cosplay her. And Michael, that's cool. Um, every time people say White Album, I think of the visual novel, White Album 2. Let's see, have you heard of Gotcha Life? I haven't! No, I'm not familiar until now. Well, LA Teeter mentioned it, but I didn't know that before. I have never heard of it. And yeah, Gurren, you're right. There's a lot of free models out there. Or like pre-made models or really cheap models that you can buy that someone else already made. Um, I would recommend checking out this site called Booth. And they have a lot of free VTuber assets on there. Yeah, it's a lot easier than it used to be. It's a lot simpler now. Oh, you've seen the anime. I haven't seen the anime of Persona 5. But, um, I should watch it. It's really good. I've heard it's really good. Oh, cosplay Ganyu from Genshin Impact? I would love to because Ganyu's voice is Reina Ueda. You know, you know, Reina Ueda from, um, she also voiced like an Aikatsu star. She's a seiyu. She voiced Ganyu and she voiced Hanabi from Star Rail. I really like her. So I would love to cosplay Ganyu. That's a really good suggestion. Thank you. You, pre you prefer cosplaying as white hair characters? Yeah, I do. I like white hair a lot. But, I mean, I'll cosplay any character that I like. It doesn't really matter, like, what they look like as long as I like them. I will cosplay them. Oh, the anime is terrible? Really? It is? I didn't know that. I thought it was good. I thought I heard it was good. Moon Love Reptile, that would be cool. I personally like to cosplay a lot of Toho characters. Um, Toho is like, like one of my main cosplays. I have a Suika cosplay, two Remu cosplays, um, Patchouli, Yuko, Nitori, um, Suika, Romilia. I love, I love Toho, so that's like my main thing I cosplay. But I would like to do more Genshin Impact cosplays or like Star Rail. Let's see. Oh, look! The axolotls came to the camera! Hey, look! They're coming checking us out! Oh, her tail is in the way of the camera. Let's see. Um. Oh, how do I say her name? Shenhe? Shenhe? Is that how you say her name? From Genshin Impact? Uh, that would be a really cool cosplay as well. She's not one of my favorites, but I do like her. But, like, there's just a other characters I do like a bit more. So, no guarantees, but I think it's a good suggestion. Let's see. Oh, you like white-haired characters too? Yeah, white hair is like the best hair color in my opinion. I love white hair. Yeah, Neptunia! and We have Neptunia fans in chat. I love Hyperdimension Neptunia. Um, no Marisa cosplay! No, I don't have a Marisa cosplay! I need to fix that. That's- a, you make a good point. I need to fix that. You need to get a Marisa cosplay. Let's see, um... Um, are you talking about from Ruby? Eduardo, are you talking about from Ruby? Sorry, I mute- I mute my mic just for a minute. <clears throat> Um, they look like a worm? No! 
Yeah, why is, why is from Ruby would be cool? I never did watch Ruby though. I never did watch that. Axolotl's detected, yes! They're on the camera now, but they're kind of hard to see. Um, I heard Ruby was really good. I know people don't like the animation, but I know the story and characters are really good. So, like, for me, I wouldn't let that put me off, you know? If if the story is good, I'll watch it anyway, even if the animation isn't the best. Wait, what are you talking about, Jaden? What? Is everything okay? Th that's not good. Wait, what are you talking about, Jaden? Oh, let's see. Red, purple, and blue are the best hair color. Ooh, I do like purple hair a lot. Um, purple hair is really good. I would say it's like my second favorite. I also like pink hair. Um, blonde is really good too. Honestly, all hair colors can look good on anyone depending on like the rest of the design. I think, I think all colors are good in their own way, but my favorite hair color will always be white. That's just my personal preference. White hair with red eyes. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. I like red eyes a lot. Let's see, one of my alt costumes could have red eyes. Actually, on a previous model, I did have one red eye. I had one blue eye and red one red eye with white hair. Um, that was a previous um previous model I had. I think that's a good design. Also, welcome! Hi May, it's me, TSA. Oh, welcome! TSA! Uh wait, wait, what is this in for? Oh, sir! Sorry, I can't say your name right. I'm so sorry. I was like, what's TSA? You mean like at the airport? Okay, sorry. Um, sorry, I never knew how to pronounce your name, but good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. How was your Easter? Let's see. Um, George, that's a good question. Um, I would ask if you could please DM me about that on Discord. Um, because, uh, I would have to do some thinking about it, so I can't really answer you on stream. Um... But thank you for inviting me. I do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, definitely DM me on Discord about it if you don't mind. If you want to join my Discord server, uh, no pressure. But if you type exc exclamation point Discord, it will post a link in the chat. And then you can find me there. And no worries, sir. Am I saying your name right, sir? Um, Nora or Penny for movie cosplay? I don't know. I'd have to watch it first and figure out who I liked. Because I just want to cosplay characters I like, but I have never seen Ruby. Um, but, um, if we can help it though, how about no spoilers in chat for, like, um, for anime or other media? Let's not post any spoilers, if that's okay. Let's see, INFP-T? I think that's a good personality type, but I don't really know much about it because, uh, I'm just INTJ. I'm not an expert, but, um, that's cool. Ooh, red hair and blue eyes is good, too. Oh, thank you for posting the Discord link, Raz. Yes, thank you. And thank you, Xion, both of you. Uh, white hair and red eyes makes me think of, like, a rabbit. Uh, white hair and red eyes. So it's a really good combination. Let's see. Um... Honestly, cute anime girls comes in all shapes and sizes and colors. You're bound to find one you like. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's more about the art style, I think. Like, any design can look good if well executed. Axel, moving around. Yeah, what are they doing? They're eating the food. I think the food was a little bit stale, though. I need to get them new food. See, we'll see about that. Hmm. Axolotl's on the move. They're checking out the camera. Well, let's see, you have an OC who has red, orange hair, and gold eyes. Let's see, I love his ability as mechanical arms. Oh, like from Fulmata Alchemist, kind of? That's cool. Oh, I mean, I know it's not like the same thing. I mean, I guess Fulmata Alchemist didn't come up with mechanical arms, but I think they're really cool. I think, um, I think that makes for a good character. Rika, Rika, I love Rika from Higurashi. We should do a Higarashi stream at some point. You know the- Kinos, did you ever play the Higarashi fighting game? Well, it wasn't really a fighting game. It was more like- Hmm. 
what would you call it? Like, it was a fighting game, but it had 3D models. Um, do you know the Higarashi game I'm talking about? What was it called? Did you ever play that? It was, like, from forever ago. Snake Star, welcome on in! Hello, how are you? Nippa! Rika is so cute. Nippa! Let's see, now you're starting to feed your Axolotl's expired food? They're not you, May! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah. I should stop. This isn't right. This isn't right. Let's see, um, Golden Fantasia or the Higurashi one? Um, Higurashi! Talk about Higurashi, let's see what it was called. Higurashi... Fighting game. Oh, Higurashi Daybreak. It was called Higurashi Daybreak. Yeah, that one. Yeah, Higurashi Daybreak. You don't know what I'm talking about? It's on PC, isn't it? It's on PC. Let's see. The more I hear about Ruby, the less I want to watch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever watch it. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's good, but it's just not really my thing. Let's see, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Snake Star. Good to have you here. I'm doing well, too. Discord remind call check food expiration. Yeah. Tricky can turn from human, human to dragon. That's really cool. Well, I don't know. I just remember the Higurashi Daybreak game. And it was, like, really fun. But the models had, like, these huge hands. Like, the models had huge hands. Like, I don't know why. I think they just, like, didn't care to model them correctly. Or maybe they had, like, some difficulty with it. I thought it was a really fun game, though. I thought it was really fun. Um, Asur Asura's Wrath? Did I say that right? Asura? I should play that. Let, let, let me look it up. Yeah, Daybreak? No, I played Daybreak on PC before. I swear. I played Higurashi Daybreak on PC. But let me look up a Sir's Wrath. Let me see. Sir's Wrath is an action video game. It was first... Okay, that doesn't tell me anything about it, though. Fast-paced action game. Oh, okay. I might like that. That looks cool. I could check it out. Yeah, I, I appreciate all of you guys' suggestions, honestly, because... Like, I'm always open for new games. Hmm. Oh, you heading out, Kalo Fang? Have a good rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Yeah, the in the OG Higurashi sprites they also have big hands. Well, maybe that's why they were they did that in the video game is because they're trying to keep it true to the original, probably. Because I did I knew I did know that, but I was like, why would they why would they keep it like that? I don't know. But it was a fun game. I will say that. What? Namco? Namco and the Rios just joined. Say hello. Namco, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome, everybody. Um, we're just talking about video games and axolotls. I'll do a small introduction for people new here. But thank you so much, Namco. How are you doing? Um, very nice of you. Uh, I'm an axolotl alchemist. I raise and breed axolotls. You can see them here on the camera. And I also play games like Soulsborne and Monster Hunter, do a lot of just chatting, and karaoke okay streams. But, um, yeah, I cosplay sometimes, and good to have everybody here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Numco. Oh, good, I'll be newming off to dinner. Enjoy your dinner! Have a good rest of your evening! Hope you have a good Easter. Don't know if you celebrate it, but whatever you do, you deserve a good dinner. Let's see, um, yeah, they added raids to YouTube- when was that? That was relatively recent, wasn't it? They had raids to YouTube? I don't remember when they added it, but I- Well, I remember when they did, everyone was like, Wow, this is really cool and we like it. But I don't remember when that was exactly. Let's see, Slay the Princess? Let's see, hold on, let me look up that game. Let's, maybe we'll play that one. Slay the Princess? Oh, I think you guys mentioned this before. It's a horror adventure game? I would probably like it. We need to play some horror games. Because I don't really play a lot of horror games, but... Um... I would be interested to, l to learn how. To try it out, you know? Let's see. First rate of the channel? Actually, yes it is! Gurg, that's the first rate I've ever received. Wow, so it's extra special. 
Wow, thank you. First raid of the channel. I, I've never had that before. I didn't even know I turned that on. But it was like a thing that I could do. Let's see. Sorry, I'm a little behind in chat. But yeah, welcome everybody. Good to have you here. <laughs> Nembro's in this. Yeah, yeah, welcome. Nemcro, um, definitely, if you haven't given her a subscription already, I would recommend checking her channel out. Um, definitely give her a subscription. She's really sweet. And she does a lot of interesting types of content and a lot of artwork. And I really like her artwork. She's really good at drawing. So if you like that, um, definitely check her out. Let's see, it's called Redirect. Oh, it's been here for a while, but not many people use it. Honestly, I've never used it myself because I didn't know it was a thing. Well, like, I knew it was a thing, but I thought I had to do something to unlock it, I guess. Like, I never really investigated it properly, so I've never used it because I was like, oh, well, I don't know how. Well, I guess that's not really a good excuse, is it? Let's see. Oh, thank you, Nemco. I hope you have a good Easter, too. Let's see, Monster Hunter World. I do have Monster Hunter World, but I want to ask, um... Do you guys think I should play Iceborne? Like, what are your thoughts on Iceborne? I hear a lot of things about the Clutch Claw that people didn't like it. So I saw Iceborne was on sale for like $15 and I almost picked it up. But I didn't because a lot of people complain about it. So, I don't know. I'll still play Monster Hunter World. I think Rise is probably better. But I know I'm going to offend some people with that. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. I really like Monster Hunter Rise. But Monster Hunter World is fun too. I just didn't get too into it. I played like several hours maybe. Um, but I wasn't sure about the Iceborne DLC. Mega Man, I have heard good things about. I will play Mega Man at some point. Um, Asura's Wrath, I'll keep in mind. Lots of good game suggestions in chat. I might not read them all. But I will definitely consider all of them. Let's see, horror suggestions? Wait, Roblox? Roblox has horror games on it? I know Roblox, but I didn't know there was horror games. I guess you can make anything on there, though. Hmm. Mac, welcome on in. How are you doing? Hello. Let's see. I can't click the profile and check channel, right? Oh, really? What? Why is the link not working? How do I link her? Is there a way to, is there a way to like, um, shout out people in chat? I see you drew some designs today. I'll definitely check them out, Nemcro. I want to see. Let's see, I wanna see I wanna see what you drew. Let's see. Should play Fallout? Um, which Fallout game would you recommend? Um sorry, my voice is like dying. Let me drink some water. Um, let me see what Fallout games I have actually. Cause I think I might have a few. Let me open up Steam. Check my library. Let's see. Do, do, do. I only have Fallout, like the original one, just Fallout. And then I have Fallout New Vegas. Um, Between those two, which ones would you recommend? Fallout or Fallout New Vegas? Um, oh, you have Monster Hunter World? It's really fun. I just prefer Monster Hunter Rise personally. But both are good in different ways. It really depends on what you're looking for in a game. Um, very different. Oh, original fall is a rock-solid turn-based RPG. We could do a stream of that at some point. That'd be fun. Let's see. Technically, horror games not scary, though. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, Fallout 4 or New Vegas? I don't have... I don't have Fallout 4, so it'd probably have to be New Vegas. Um, and yeah, we had a raid a few minutes ago. Thank you again, Nemco. Um, she brought her community over here. You think the whole series is good? Okay, st just start with one or two? Okay. Um, I guess I could just really just pick whatever one suits me the best and probably have fun with any of them. Let's see, play both? Okay, okay. Injustice? Oh, that sounds familiar, but I don't think I did play it. Let's see, Injustice game. Injustice featuring... It's a two oh, it's a 2013 fighting game. I've never played that. I've never played Injustice. No, I don't think I have it. Nemcro, I didn't know you liked Monster Hunter. We should play together at some point. If you're down. No pressure. But I do like Monster Hunter. It is really fun. But it's, I think it's more fun with friends. I don't really like playing solo. 
Also, welcome Neo Sonic fan. Hello, how are you? Hmm. I think I have heard of Injustice, but I just never played it. Oh, Signalis? How do you say it? Si Signalis? Signalis? Let's check it out. Um, I think you recommended this before, because the link is purple, because I clicked it before. Wow, 10 out of 10 on Steam? That's really good. 96% of people liked this video game. Survival horror video game? Interesting. Yeah, I'll check it out. Let me bookmark it. Let's see. Oh, Elder Scrolls, Morrowind. I never did play those games either. I'm not a real gamer, you guys. I just play like a couple niche ones. Well, not really niche because I play Dark Souls and Monster Hunter 2. But I don't know. I play a lot of games that no one else has ever heard of. Um. Oh, you're down for that? Okay, Nimcrawl. I'll definitely hit you up um, about playing Monster Hunter at some point because I think that'd be really fun. I think that'd be really fun. Have I played the Toho fighting games? Of course I have. I love them. I love I love the Toho fighting games. Hiso Tensoku is my favorite. Hiso Tensoku is really good. I play as Rumelia or Suika. Um, Suwako is really fun to play too. Honestly, I love all the characters. Uh, I love Hiso Tensoku. Yes. I personally prefer the fighting Toho games to the rest of the Toho games. Which I know, like, makes me a secondary, I guess. But, um, I really love Toho. It's my favorite series. It's all I cosplay from. I've been a big fan of Toho for a long time. Um... Do I have a preferred type of game? I would say a DRPG or just, you know, an SRPG. I really like Disgaea. Has anyone here played Disgaea? I love games like Disgaea. I could play it for hundreds of hours and never get tired of it. So, um, I, if anyone has any recommendations that are like Disgaea, definitely I'll check them out. Um, Helldivers 2, I know it's really popular right now. But I don't own it, so I don't have any real opinion on it. I haven't played it. Um, let's see. Have I ever played? Sorry, I'm a little behind in chat. Um. I have never played Bioshock. I have not. But that's a horror game, isn't it? I think, I think that's a horror game. Lethal Company. I do have Lethal Company. We could play that. And Rin, I forgot. Or I didn't know that you played Monster Hunter. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Uh, which Monster Hunter do you play, Rin? Um, let's see. Lots of, lots of, uh, suggestions in chat. Sorry, I can't read them all, but, um, it would be fun to collab, because, yeah, I, I collabed with Reiko in the past with Monster Hunter. Um, and we had a lot of fun with Monster Hunter Rise, so that'd be fun to, to do again. Have I played Donkey Kong Country? I haven't, but I've heard the music. And wow, the music in Donkey Kong Country is like way better than it should be. Am I wrong though? Is like the Donkey Kong Country like OST like really really good? Also, welcome! Um, still a little bit behind in chat. Nishimiya-san, welcome, good morning. Good morning to you. It's actually evening where I am. Um, jump scare games, I can't say I'm really a fan. Um, but I would- I have played some before. It's just they scare me, you know? They scare me. You followed me on Twitter? Thank you! Oh, Shin Megami Tensei? I've played Shin Megami Tensei, but I played Devil Survivor, not Strange Journey. Disgaea Stream 1? I've played- um, I've streamed Disgaea before, but I can do it again. Um, maybe we could do that sometime this week? Yeah, Disgaea is really fun! Let's see. Um, yeah, we could collab. Let's see, I play a lot of games, May. Thought you have me on Steam. Oh, I guess I just didn't really check out your game list. I'm sorry. You've heard of Disgaea. But the most ta most popular tactical RPG these days is Fire Emblem. Um, I mean, I like Fire Emblem. I haven't played too much. I think I played Conquest. But, um... I don't know. I, I, I like Fire Emblem. I'm just not, like, a super huge fan because I haven't played too much. So, like, I feel like I'm not, like, qualified to call myself a fan. But, I don't know. I am a big fan of Disgaea. I've played all of the Disgaea games. And I've been playing them for a long time. And they're just really fun. I personally prefer them. Um, no hate to people who like Fire Emblem. But I think Disgaea is my preference. Let's see. Um, oh, you have World and Rise and Sunbreak. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could play at some point. 
Five Nights at Freddy's. No, no. Everyone keeps, everyone, everyone keeps trying to make me play Five Nights at Freddy's, but I don't want to play because it's like scary, right? No, it's a horror game. I don't want to play that one. It's, it's got too many jump scares. Jump scares bad. Jump scares are bad. Let's see, Circus Atari? What's that? Let me look it up. Circus Atari? It's an arcade game from 1978? That can't be right. Oh wait, no. Initial re release date 1980. Can't say I've ever played that. Sorry, I've never heard of that. Circus Atari, never heard of it. Um... Oh, Etrian Odyssey! I do like Etrian Odyssey! I- well, I'm- I'm familiar with it, but I haven't really played it yet. But I would love Etrian Odyssey! I think I should play it. I should check it out. I have the games, I just haven't gotten to it yet. But, yeah, you know, I have- I have quite a lot of- I have quite a lot of, um, games in my backlog. That I need to get to. Let's see, depends on which one you play? Which one you mean, Hideki? Um, uh, Gurng, I'll be honest, I'm not big into puzzle games, no. Etrian Odyssey, I guess, you have to, like, draw your own dungeon map. I guess that's kind of like a puzzle. But other than that, I don't want to play puzzle games, no. I suck at puzzle games. Yeah. Wait, Five Nights at Freddy's isn't scary? It's only scary to ten-year-olds? What? Oh, okay, well, I would probably still be afraid. But we can check it out. Um, I just don't like jump scares. I'll be honest, I'm not good at jump scares. Also, welcome back, Wet Sock. Wait, you don't even react to them after playing the first four? What? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, maybe I'll play Five Nights at Freddy's as long as you guys don't, like, spoil it for me. Like, don't tell me when there's gonna be a jump scare, you know? Let me just figure it out on my own. Let's see, you think- I didn't even know there was multiple games in that series. Um, there's four of them? Okay, how many- how many of- how many Five Nights at Freddy's games are there? Let's look it up. Wait, there's a movie? It says there's a movie? Wait. It's a point-and-click survival horror game. Initially released in 2014 single-player video game. But how many are there? It's not telling me. Eight or maybe nine? What? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know anything about the series. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about the series, so don't tell me anything about it. Um, because I want to go in blind and I want to figure it out myself. So, like, I'm okay with, like, advice, but I don't really want to, like, be spoiled, you know? I don't know about the Five Nights- I don't- I live under a rock. I'll be honest, Jaden, I live under a rock. I only know, like, Japanese seiyu and Japanese idols. I don't know what's going on in the rest of the world. I'll be honest, I'm very sheltered. I just like my niche interests, and that's it. Let's see, a, me a meme compilation? No, I haven't. Um, like, okay, I'll be honest, I don't really like puzzle games. But I like puzzles like, for example, in Zelda games where, like, the like say you gotta push the ice blocks around or you gotta figure out, like, how to move to the next room in the dungeon or, like, the water temple. Um, I like those kind of puzzles, but, like, to sit down and actually play, like, a dedicated puzzle game would be kind of rough on me. I don't think I could do that. That would be rough. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, the spoiler doesn't really matter because the game is just you trying to survive. Okay, well, that's good to know, I guess. Hmm. Um, should I start with the first game, you think? Just play it in chronological order? Oh, Tetris? I'm very bad at Tetris. I could never. Um, a Tetris stream would not go anywhere. I would maybe last, like, 30 seconds. And then I would die. Hmm. Wait! Has anyone tried Baba is You? I've actually played that! Even though I said I don't like puzzle games, I have played that, Jan. I've played that, yeah, yeah. It's the one about the cute little bunny thing? Yes, I know that one, yes. 
Play in chronological order? Okay, okay. Aww. I'm so sorry to hear that, Wilpat. You're having a terrible Easter. Can't stop by the stream, but wanted to give my sacrifice to a cult leader. Well, thank you so much for the orange super chat. Thank you, Wilpat. I really appreciate your support. And you know what? I really hope your Easter improves. And if not, there's always tomorrow. I hope things get better for you. I'm sorry you couldn't join us, but um, I will. I, I really hope things get better for you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for dropping by even though you're busy. Thank you. Wow, very nice and generous of you. Um, let's see. But we're t uh, about Tetris though. I really, I'm so bad at it. I don't think I could stream it. It would be awful. Um, let's see. Play Tetris with viewers? Wait, it's like a multiplayer game? You can play with viewers? I didn't know that. You can play Tetris with viewers? I thought it was just single player. Hmm. But yeah, Baba is you. When did I play that? I played that like years ago. I had forgotten all about that game. I'd forgotten all about that game. Thank you for bringing it up, Jan. Because that was like you unlocked like a core memory in my mind. That I had completely forgot I played that game. Yeah, it is fun though. It's kind of frustrating though. It's kind of frustrating to figure it out. Um, let's see. The weird. Oh my gosh, guys! I just realized I only had top chat on instead of live chat. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I think I'm missing some messages. Oh my gosh, I missed some messages. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, cause you know how YouTube filters live chat and top chat? I think all along I've been ignoring people. I'm so sorry, I forgot to change that over. So let me see, um... I will check that out, Sar. I'll check that out. Yeah, Baba- Baba is you really makes my head hurt too, it's really rough. Um... But man, I'm so sorry if I ignored anybody, please repeat what you said, cause I- I feel really bad. Um, I didn't- I didn't realize I didn't have the live chat on. <laughs> that's a good- that's a good comparison. Keep in mind, chat, that much like the axolotls may raises, she lives under a comically large rock and has a questionable amount of intelligence. Did you have to add that last part, though? Did you have to add that last part? I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, it's absolutely true, but you didn't have to say it. Yeah, top chat is a bane to streaming. Like, why? Oh my gosh, why would it- why would it put that on by default? Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I think I missed a lot of messages. I'm so sorry. May's strength is equivalent to a wet pool noodle? Honestly, yeah. Um, my cardiologist, I spoke to my cardiologist and he says not to lift more than 10 pounds. And I'm like, what? That's like not very much, right? I can't lift more than 10 pounds, says my cardiologist. Yeah, YouTube needs to get bonked because it was filtering some messages. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Man, we need to bonk YouTube on the head very hard. Okay, I didn't miss anything important. That's good. I hope not. I, I'm sorry about that. Sonic Rush? You know, I never got into the Sonic series. Um, I never got into Sonic series. I, it seems fun. I know there's a lot of games, but I just- it was never really my thing. I don't think I have a console to play it on. Um... Are you allowed to get stronger? Yes, I can like exercise and try and build up my strength, but my cardiologist doesn't want me to lift more than 10 pounds just because it's bad for my heart, I guess? I don't know. There's not very much that weighs less than 10 pounds, that's true. But that's what he said. I'm gonna try and get buff though. Yeah, I could try. Let's see, I'm gonna get swole. Apprentice, you're heading out. Thank you for wishing me to have a fun stream. Hope everything goes well for you. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah, I'm on my I'm on my training arc and also my villain arc. I have to train so I can take over the world with axolotls. World domination soon. Let's see, you think I should Oh, I did hear about the Sonic movie though. I did hear about that. Was it any good? And I'll play Bioshock at some point. Let me see. I Let me check my Steam library. Do I have Bioshock? Let's see. I don't. I thought I did. I don't have Bioshock? No, I don't. 
Well, maybe someday we can play it. Axolotls have brains as smooth as their skin. Yeah, we're a very smooth brain, me especially. How much is a pound in kilograms? Uh, not sure. What? Hold on, let me look it up. Let's see, 10 pounds, 2 kilograms. So that's about 4.5 4 kilograms. That's all I can lift. That's all I can lift! Let's see, buffalo, yeah, yeah. Momodora games would be nice to play on streams? What's Momodora? Let me see. Momodora? Oh, what? I think I've seen this before. Indie platformer video games. About priestess. Who use maple leaves as weapons against monsters? That looks cool. I will bookmark it. I will bookmark it. Oh, hey, it's only $10. That's not bad. That's only $10. I could play that out. I could play it on stream. I have a fragile voice, do I? Yeah, kind of like after talking for a little while, like my voice starts to starts to die. I get I need to take another cough drop or something. I think it's because I don't really talk outside of stream. Like I'll talk for like three hours on stream, but besides that I don't really talk at all. Um, so maybe my voice is not used to it. I don't know. Um, have I played Kingdom Hearts? I actually haven't. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, no. But I know it's really good. I need to play more games, don't I, guys? I've been playing a lot, but I guess not all the ones you guys are asking about. Oh, I could do a Minecraft stream. Yeah, we've got a Minecraft server. For those who aren't in the Discord, but you'd like to join, feel free to join the Discord. We've got a Minecraft server for members there. As long as you follow the rules, everybody is welcome. And thank you, Jonathan. That's very nice of you. And no, I haven't played Undertale either. I haven't played Undertale. I Like I said, I just play like my niche games. Like my Japanese games that no one's heard of. I don't know Little Misfortune either. Interesting. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I... I only know freedom units. What, what is that in freedom units? That's all I know. Little Misfortune is cute? I've never heard of that. Thank you for posting the Discord, Grimu. Um, honestly, Coco, I'll be real with you. I'm not really a big fan of platformers. I prefer, like, turn-based RPGs. Um, I'm not very good at platformers. Uh, like, RPGs with some platforming elements are okay. Like, Paper Mario. I liked Paper Mario a lot. But otherwise, I'm not very good at platformers, I'll be honest. Very, very not good at them. I sound like I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. Yeah, I kind of do. Oh my gosh, that's a good, that's an accurate description. Can't sound like I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. <laughs> but see, have you played Mario? I played Paper Mario. I like Paper Mario. Uh, I want to play Thousand Year Door. Do you know Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? I also want to play Super Mario RPG the remake. I think those would be fun. I didn't play the original, but I've, I watch a streamer, um, a VTuber who played the remake and she made it look really fun. So I really want to play it. You think Undertale is worth it? I hear it has good music. Very good music in Undertale. Also, welcome, Rokara, hello! Also, hey, Queen Homu, welcome. How are you doing today? Let's see, you want to see me play Undertale? We could, we could do a stream of that. How long is the game? Like, is it a very long game or is it short? Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see. Under Undertale time to beat. Let's, let's Google it. Undertale time to beat. Um, says about seven hours for the main story. That's not long at all. We could do that on stream. Oh, Kirby! I do like Kirby. Okay, yeah, I guess I lied. I guess I do like some Kirby games. Which are platformers. But I don't know. They're like... It's because they're so cute, okay? Kirby is really fun. Yeah, I like Kirby.
Oh, it's not- it's not a long game? Depends on the route? Oh, is there like different routes? Um, I want to play Paper Mario. I want to play Thousand Year Door. I want to play Super Mario RPG Remake. Um, because those are like, they have platformer elements, but they're still like RPGs. Which is like more what I'm into. Mm, but yeah, Kirby is fun too. If you want to explore different parts of the story, then it can be very long. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I, I figured it was short, but honestly, I for things you like, you want them to last longer, right? Like, if you like the game, why wouldn't you want it to be long? So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that if it's a long game, if I enjoy it, you know? Banana for scale? Yeah, Americans do be like that. Heart of gold, head of bone. You know what, Jaden? You're not wrong. I think that I think that you're not wrong. Um, please don't explain the routes if you don't mind, Grimu, just because I don't know if that counts as a spoiler, but um I just rather would go into it blind. And yeah, Queen Homu, I know. I asked Claire about um Kirby before. I did ask her about it. And she told me like which ones to start with. Um I have played some Kirby games before, but I'm not an expert. Um, let's see. My truck gets about 15 cheeseburgers per shotgun. Yeehaw, what the heck? Who even says that? Nobody would say that. See, Little Miss Fortune's three to five hours. Let me look that up. Okay, let's look that up. Little Miss Fortune video game. Is this made by the same people who did the other game we just talked about? Because this looks like the artwork is similar. Like, it looks like the same sort of artwork. It's a horror adventure game. Let's see. Where your choices have consequences. Uh-oh. I don't do good with the consequences of my own actions. Oh, no. I don't know about this game, guys. Your choices have consequences. We could check it out, though, because... I could probably beat it in one stream. Maybe two streams? We could probably beat it in one or two streams. I can only lift 1,130 gumballs. You're right. <laughs> That's true. I can only lift 1,130 gumballs. Um, Dead Space? Wait, Dead Space. I might have one of those games. Let me check. Let's see what game do I got. Dead Space... Mm, do I not have it? I thought I did. Oh, I guess I don't. What's the horror game I have that I was thinking of then? Yeah, Dead Space could be fun. Um, I don't know if it's really my type of game. But I'm okay for trying something new. I would definitely check those out. Among the Sleep? I have not. Hold up. And now, maybe I should talk about games I have played, because all of- everything you guys list is things I haven't played. Let's see, Among the Sleep. It's a survival game, first-person survival horror action adventure game. Um, in which she plays a two-year-old child. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could check it out, it looks interesting. Let's see, um... Every time I think of Little Misfortune, I can't help but think of that dog. Oh, no spoilers though, don't tell me about the dog. No, no doggo. Um... Next town is 50 football fields away from here? Yeah, that's a very American thing to say. Tell us about a recent game you've finished? I should! Okay, so, actually I have a couple. Um, my favorite game of last year was Disgaea 7. Um, and let me go on a little rant about it. Um, Disgaea always had the pixel art animations, and I thought the pixel art was so good. And then with Disgaea 6, they changed to 3D models, which, honestly, I don't have anything against 3D models, but there was some charm to the pixel art. And But I was like, you know what, that's okay, can still be a good game. Um, so I still played it. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Julian, thank you. Don't be sorry for talking about Sonic. Let me read your message. Sorry I keep talking about Sonic, but they're cool. That's totally okay. We're talking about video games. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate that. 
and you know don't feel bad for talking about video games but um so yeah okay disgaea 7 was just a really pleasant surprise because disgaea 6 was underwhelming as heck i didn't like the 3d models they changed to but you know what i'm like i don't care what the game looks like as long as it's fun it doesn't matter 2d models or 3d models as long as it's fun i will i will accept it but it wasn't i didn't like the comedy i didn't like the characters i didn't like the game at all and you know what coming from disgaea 5 complete um, to Disgaea 6, which I would argue Disgaea 5 Complete is maybe the best Disgaea game ever. So coming from that, like that was the last one I played, and then I played 6. Oh my gosh, it was just like very underwhelming. And there goes my Disgaea sponsorship, but I just really didn't like 6. So you know what, when 7 came out, I was like, I'm... I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. They have the 3D models again, but they had a really cool, like, setting. They're, like, in sort of, like, Japan-themed underworld. Like, it's still the netherworld, but it's, like, Japan-themed, and I'm a weeaboo, so I like that. Um, but honestly, it was a really pleasant surprise. I spent hundreds of hours in that game. Um, I loved all of the characters. I loved the story. I loved the gameplay. Um, it was just- I love all the classes that you can make. Um, Disgaea 7, I think, was Game of the Year of 2023. And a lot of good games came out in 2023, but Disgaea 7 was my favorite. Um, Disgaea 5 Complete, I think, is still the best Disgaea game. Um, you get all the, like, DLC. If you get the DLC, you get the characters in previous games, which, um, I really liked. But then they introduced really good characters like Usalia, who was, like, my favorite. So, yeah. Um... I love Disgaea 7, that was one that I recently finished, that I would wholeheartedly recommend. Now if you're new to the Disgaea series, would I say to start out with Disgaea 7? I would not say to do that. Um, I would say maybe start with Disgaea 5 Complete, and if you like that, go back and play 1. Because I think the cast in Disgaea 1 was my favorite. You know, Etna, Flan, Laharl, they were my favorites. Um, but the gameplay in 5 was the best. And then 7 was another one I would also recommend, like, if you've already played the other games. But yeah, um, sorry, that's my, like, little Disgaea tangent. I love, I love Disgaea series, I played all of them. And, um, I would say 5 is my favorite. Let's see, um. And, yeah, that's true, that's true, Steven, what you said about Americans. Um, let's see, I'm a little behind in chat. Um, because I was ranting about this guy for so long. I'm so sorry. Um, but honestly, it's a really good, um, SRPG. I would recommend playing it if you're into those kind of games. Um, what's fun about this is, um, you have to kind of learn how to cheat. Like, you have to learn how to exploit it or you won't be able to beat it. Um, and it's not really cheating because they mean for you to play that way. Uh, it's like finding like silly little exploits like, oh, if I do this, I can level up really quickly or, oh, if I do this, I can do like a million damage because you can get crazy numbers in that game. You really can do over a million damage. So I, I just love this guy because it's so silly and ridiculous and you can just keep going. If you like number go up in game, um, you will like this guy. Um, let's see. Hideki asked, uh, what consoles do I have? I don't really have that many. I only have a PS4, actually. Wait. Um, oh, and I have a Switch. I have a Nintendo Switch and I have a PS4, but that's all I really got. Um, I do have someone, at, like, I can borrow my brother's, like, PS3. If I wanted to play on PS3, I can borrow one. But me, personally, um, I have a PS4 and Switch. Um, I do have some handheld consoles. I have a PS Vita and I have a 3DS. Um, I think that's everything. Vita, 3DS, Switch, and, um, the PS4. I think that's everything. And, of course, my PC. But that's not a console. Let's see. Um, sorry, still a little bit behind in chat. Um, but yeah, I, I... I need to get some more consoles, but... I don't know. I could usually probably borrow them, so I'm not too concerned about buying them. Yeah, oh, you've- Viri, you've played Disgaea. Yeah, it's a really good game. I would recommend playing 5 Complete if you liked those ones. Um, definitely. Um, 
play Disgaea 5 Complete. It's- I think it's the best one. Let's see, um... You really sung me on Disgaea, but I like to start sagas on release date, so I play the first one. Honestly, the first one is great. The first one, you can still it's have a lot of fun with. Like, you know how some games feel dated? After a long time, they feel dated. But Disgaea, I personally don't feel that it does. Um, you can play the first Disgaea game and have just as much fun as any of the others. Um, I would say rec if you want to play, then yeah, I would recommend starting with the first. It's just, I think, 5 is better for, like, people who are, like, beginners who are unsure about it. But if you're sure that you'll like it, then start with the first. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um. Yeah, but I hope you guys can discover something new about Disgaea. After my little, my little rant about it. My whole little, like, novel length, um, opinion on it. But... I think it's really fun. Um, that was, that was the funnest game that I finished recently was Disgaea 7. Um, those are the exact consoles you own? That's really funny, Steven. What the heck? Are you me? Um, have I played Shadow of the Colossus? Um, yes I have. And I played a little bit of Ico, but I did play Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, yeah. And that was really fun. But that was like forever ago, so I don't really remember much about it. Um, but yes. Shadow of the Colossus was really fun. I liked that a lot. And Vita was really an underrated console. I love the Vita. I still play my Vita. There's plenty of good games on there. Oh, you played this guy yet too? Or er, er, call good good taste. Um, have I played have I sorry, have I played any of the Tales of games? I have not. Um, I think I would like them, but I haven't played them yet. No. Have not. But see, Jaden, you're getting sleepy. Have a good rest of your night. Sleep well. Take care. But yeah, um, I would definitely recommend Disgaea. Uh, what else did I play recently that I really enjoyed? Um, I did finish. Well, I didn't finish. Well, I kind of did. Pokemon Scarlet was really fun. Um, I'm a longtime fan of the Pokemon series, but I was a little dis disappointed with some recent games. But honestly, Pokemon Scarlet was really good. Um. I finished the main story. There's some stuff I can still do in the game, like the DLC. But I did finish the main story in Pokemon Scarlet. And I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I I love Pokemon. That was the recent one I played. Um, you guys might remember some of my Pokemon streams I did on Twitch. Um, yes. So, that was a fun one. What else did I play recently? Like I said, I picked up Dragon's Dogma, but I haven't completed it yet. So, I'm still kind of learning. And yes, I do really like this Gaia. Um, my favorite character. Let me tell you, actually. Um, I went to Anime Expo one year to meet the artist of the Disgaea series. Uh, what's his name again? Like, Takehito or something? Anyways, he draws the art for the Disgaea series. And I love his artwork. And so, I was so happy to meet him. Um, and I said... I had like this like autograph like board for him and he said who's your favorite character and I said plein air and he drew her for me and then he signed his name and he wrote like to my name um and I was really happy because um like I am a big fan of Disgaea I've only come to love this series more and more as time goes on but um yeah I was so happy to meet the artist and have a picture drawn by him and get his autograph um yeah, Vita, Vita didn't really do so well, but I really liked it even still. Is Dragon's Dogma hard? Not at all. It's not a hard game at all. Now, with Dragon's Dogma, you do kind of have to figure out how to fight each enemy. You can't just go in smashing buttons. Which, like, I've been a button smasher all my life. Like, I'm- that's the one thing I'm good at, is smashing buttons. But you can't do that in Dragon's Dogma. You have to figure out, like, okay, I have to- like, for example, with the chimera, I have to cut off the tail, and then I have to cut off the goat head. I have to, like, you have to, like, jump on it, and, like, climb on it, and, like, cut certain parts of the monster. You can't just rush in and hit the attack button, you know? You have to kind of think about what you're doing. You know, with the cyclops, you gotta grab onto its foot so it can't move, and you gotta cut off its foot. Um, stuff like that. Um, so it's really fun because there's a bit of strategy, but it's definitely not hard. It's it's a very easy game. Even if you do, even if you played on normal mode, I would still say it's not hard. Um, so, but it's not so easy that it's not fun. 
it's a good balance. I think it's a perfect level of difficulty, honestly. I would really recommend playing it. I think it's really fun. Let's see, um, now Nintendo's on a downward, downward slope. Yeah, well, we keep hearing about the Switch too, and I don't know if that's just a rumor or what's going on with that. Um, I really enjoy my Switch, but yeah, the hardware is a bit dated now. You have to have a plan. Yes, exactly. Ju uh, sorry, Jonathan, you're you're very right. You have to have a plan. In Dragon's Dogma, it's not hard. It's not hard at all, but you do have to have a plan. You have to think your actions through. And I mean, that's what I'm awful at doing. But if I can if I can play it, then you guys can. Let's see, Fantasy Life. I've heard of that. Yes, I know Fantasy Life, but I don't have it. But everyone told me I should play it. I have a friend who played Fantasy Life, um, who really recommended it to me. Um, but I don't think I have it. I would have to find a physical copy of it at this point, huh? Is the, isn't the Nintendo eShop down? The Nintendo eShop is kill. Where were you when Nintendo eShop was kill? Also, Latex, welcome, hello, how are you doing? And yeah, um, I guess there's been Switch 2 rumors for years, but... I wonder if they're actually going to come out with another console soon. Oh yeah! We never heard about Genshin! They kept telling us Genshin was going to be ported to the Switch? I don't think that's happening, I think that's a lie. Yeah, whatever happened to Genshin? Whatever happened to Genshin? Let's see, why is that a fish cam? They're not fish, they're axolotls! Axolotls, they're salamanders! Um, and so... I'll do a little introduction. Welcome. I raise and breed axolotls. So I've got a bunch of axolotls as you can see on the camera. I have six adults and I have 28 hatchlings that just hatched um, this month actually. So yeah, I raise and breed axolotls. So I just have them on the camera there so you guys can watch them. Because um, I'm an axolotl alchemist and that's like my specialty. So feel free to ask about any axolotl questions you might have. Um, and good to have you here. Welcome. Yeah, Nintendo eShop is kill, right? Yeah, I don't think- I don't think- Okay, I'm pretty sure Genshin is not gonna come to Switch anymore. I think they let us on, but I don't think it is going to happen. Yeah. It is very sad that it gets outdated in less than a decade, yeah. Wait, really, Nepgear? You had stick drift? I had that happen to me once. I did have to replace it, but, um... That's- that's frustrating that happened three to four times. Um, yeah, for me, I had to replace it once, but otherwise it worked just fine for me. Hmm. Well, I'll try and think of some fun games that we can play this week. Um, I'll take in mind, um, some of the suggestions you guys gave me, but I think this guy would be fun. Um, Minecraft server would be fun. Again, if you guys want to join the Minecraft server, feel free to join on Discord. You can find the details there. Um, you would have to ask a mod to add you in because, you know, we don't want, like, griefers. But it is really fun. Um, I'm trying to think of what other games I could pr probably play this week. Um, I will stream tomorrow at the same, same time I started today. So if you guys are free tomorrow, Monday, well, I guess it's already Monday for some of you. But I will be streaming tomorrow on Monday. Yeah, consoles are made to get outdated fast to spend more money. I mean, can you blame them though? I mean, they gotta make money somehow. But it is frustrating, isn't it? It's very frustrating. Crocodile onesie? That sounds really cute. I would wear one of those. Let's see, what do you mean Nintendo Switch eShop? No, no, I meant the eShop for 3DS. Um, not the Switch. No, not the Switch, but for 3DS it's down, right? Does the, does the 3DS eShop still work? I think it's gonna be down soon, if it is still up. I'm talking about 3DS, yeah. And Wii U. Okay, yeah, for Wii U and 3DS it's going down soon. I'm sorry to hear that, Coco. That sounds really frustrating. Oh my gosh, Homu, you're right. I haven't been pl Oh my gosh, it's been years. I'm so sorry, Homu. It will be down on April 8th? Oh, I thought it was down already. Okay, well that's bad news. It will be down. 
Wait, it is already closed? Oh, uh, I'm getting mixed, mixed opinions here. Uh, Julian, you can post pictures as long as you post them in the Images Links channel. Um, feel free to post them. As long as they're not in the general chat, you know, we want them in the right channel. But feel free to, feel free to post them. That's fine. Google says April 8th. Well, either way, it's either already down or it's going to be down soon. I thought it was November of 2023. Um. Oh, it closed in 2023? Yeah, I thought, I thought it was. Oh, April 8th of 2023. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, where were you when they when eShop was killed? Um, it is a bit depressing though. That's why I always like to buy physical copies of my game. But um, it's kind of hard to find physical copies of some games. Oh, March. Oh, okay. Wow, so it's been exactly a year. It's been exactly a year since it closed down. Well, I'll definitely take you guys, um, considerations in. I think I should play a horror game. Um, probably Five Nights at Freddy's would be a good jump scare one. Um, but I would like, to, I do have some plans for this week. Like I said, I'm going to post my schedule after stream, so definitely take a look there. But I'll be streaming tomorrow at the same time. Um, what was the other game I was going to play? Hold on, let me check my Steam real quick. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Dragon's Dogma, but... Um, what else was I was going to play? I streamed Grooman the other day. Um, Monster Hunter would be fun. Oh yeah, Little Misfortune! You said that was horror. Um... Well, let me let me see how much that is. Let me see how much that is. Little misfortune. Twenty dollars. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Like for a full game, I think that's perfectly reasonable. Now, when it gets to be like seventy dollars for a game, I think that's crazy. But twenty dollars, that's perfectly reasonable. Okay, yeah, I could definitely play that. And slay the princess. You're right. Spoopy in April. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I could, I, I could wait till October, but that's quite a ways out. And yeah, Moonlight, Moonlight Reptile, you make a very good point there. It is kind of upsetting how they make everything obsolete and proprietary. Um, Slay the Princess, I won't forget about Slay the Princess. Um, could you consider playing SCP Containment Breach? Um, I would probably play it, but probably not as my first horror game. Because I'm not familiar with, like, the lore. Like, I know there's, like, a whole wiki with all the lore about the monsters. Um, I would definitely play it at some point. I think that's a great suggestion. But I just don't know if it would be, like, the first game I play. I see Spookies. Jump Scare Mansion. Wait, how is that chill? What? Isn't that, like, contradictory? Spookies Jump Scare Mansion. I like it because it's pretty chill. What? Is it Jump Scare or is it chill? What? It's a, it's a mix of the two, I guess? I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I like Humble Bundle because you can find some good deals on there. But I feel like their deals aren't as good as they used to be on Humble Bundle. Kimberly, welcome on in! Hello, how are you? Oh, it's free! Let me look it up. Let's see, Spookies. Jump Scare Mansion. It is, wow, rated 9 out of 10 on Steam. That's really good. Oh, it says it's not free. But it's only $12. That's not bad. Um, let's see. Faith the Unholy Trinity? I think I heard about that. Oh, it's a survival game, but there's, oh, that there's puzzles. Ooh, I might not be good at the puzzles. Maybe if you guys help me. If I play a puzzle game, will you guys help me figure out the puzzles? Um, if you do, then I'll play one. Oh, you got it for free? Yeah, on Steam it says it's $12, but that's okay. Um, I have not. Chillis Art Games? What is that? But yeah, if you guys help me with the puzzles, then I'm not opposed to playing a puzzle game. It's just I couldn't figure it out on my own. I would need some hand-holding, okay? 
some serious hand-holding. Oh, the base game is free? Okay, I must have looked at the wrong thing. You're being chased the whole game? I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I don't like- You guys ever have like those nightmares where you're being chased? Um, I'm not gonna stream it tomorrow, not Monday. Um, I'll stream it maybe sometime this week. But I have something already planned for Monday. Um... Yeah, I have something already planned for Monday, so I'm not gonna stream the suggestions that you guys made tomorrow. But you'll see what I do, and we'll I'll consider your suggestions for future streams. Let's see. Oh, was that a spoiler? Oops. Whoops. Yeah, don't spoil the game, please, because I would like to go in blind. Like, with, like, anime and, and all sorts of media, like, games, I always prefer to go in blind. When's Resident Evil 4 continuation? That's a good question. I should play more of that, but I was just having issues with the controller. I think I figured it out, though, so we'll see. We could do that soon. Could do Resident Evil 4 soon. I need to still figure out how to make the emotes show up on, um, on the stream. Why is the emotes not popping up? I added them. What the heck? I'll figure that out before next stream. Because I would like to have the emotes floating around. But. Let's see. Let me pull up my schedule. Wait, no, I didn't make a schedule yet. Today is Sunday. Okay, I'll make one tonight. Ooh. I just started playing Dungeon Travelers 2. I decided to finally, finally finish the game. It's such a fun game. I love Dungeon Travelers 2. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of it. Because it's, it's seriously probably my second favorite game ever. Kind of my first favorite game in, in some ways. Like, I, I, I would say Nier is my first favorite, but Dungeon Travelers 2 is like a bit different, you know? Yeah. But yeah, keep spoilers to a minimum because I like to go in blind. I, I, I will need some hand-holding with like puzzles, but like no spoilers. But let's see. I might wrap things up here. Um... Keep an eye out for my schedule. I'm going to post it on YouTube community tab and, you know, all the usual places that I normally do. Why are you bonking me? Why is everybody bonking me? Why? Is that to me or somebody else? Because I don't deserve head bonks. Do not bonk the Axololi. Alright. Take care, Tsar. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you for dropping by my stream. Mm. Good to have you. Have a good rest of your night. Sleep snug. I'll be wrapping things up here in a minute. Um, like I said, I'll post my schedule later tonight, but I will stream tomorrow at the same time. So Monday, same time I started today, I will be streaming tomorrow. So definitely tune in then. I've prepared something special. Well, I guess it's not really like special, but it'll still be fun. Um, yes, I've played Nier and I also played Drakengard. Yes, I played all of them. Yes, I love um, Yoko Taro's games. Yoko Taro is great. Great, great characters, awesome story, I agree. But yep, I will finish things up, um, and I'll check out your guys' game suggestions, so thank you for helping me. But, let's see, let's, let's wrap things up now. Have a good rest of your day. Hope your week going forward is great. And thank you for spending time with me, everybody. Bye-bye. Jane. Matane. See you next time.